Welcome to D20 Deathmatch! Woo! It's us! Yes! We're back again! Yes! We're here! Time Surprise. to roll some fucking dice! Yeah! Or whatever. <laughs> whatever people Something say. Like I don't know. <laughs> people don't say much here. Just us. Just we us. We're the only much. ones talking ever. Yeah, every time. Yeah, okay. You talk way too much. Did you put on deodorant this time? No, did you? Why oh, would I? Okay, first of all, I wasn't the one who last time raised their arms and let, like, a stink escape from them, so... Listen, that was fog, and I don't want to talk about it anymore. Fog. It was fog. fog. It was a magical, thick, viscous fog. Yeah, sure. Very thick. It was magic. Very gross. Incredibly potent. Yeah. <sighs> we find ourselves in the Dread Fortress, in the halls of Elusia Skypiercer. The Arbiter looking left and right for the Grandmaster, who is once again absent from the throne room, making his but, way. Yeah, as as you make your way oh, down those hallways. Allow me, allow me. You actually notice something. What do I notice? A smell, a smell that is just warm and almost gooey and sugary fills the air, kind of gently seducing you down the hallway as you follow it. I feel seduced. You know, the cold, yeah, you are easily seduced by good mm -hmm. smelling foods. Yes. Yeah, I don't even bother with perfume. I just spray like bacon or cookies on me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and as you follow this scent down, you find yourself actually in the kitchen, hearing busy sounds of ovens opening, pots and pans everywhere, and the Grandmaster hovering over her latest batch of chocolate chip cookies that she has prepared for the Acolytes tonight. Uh, uh, Grandmaster, those those smell awesome. They are actually amazing, but let's be clear. These are for the Acolytes. I'm not giving to any of the champions. Clearly, they don't deserve it, even though I enticed them last time and then they decided to discard them. I'm not going to trust them at all at any point in time, but I Wait. made a bunch for the acolytes and as you look around not only do you see a ton of chocolate chip cookies but you see red velvet you see sugar dough you see confetti and what are those weird little easter ones with like just the normal sugar cookies with like a little chickadee in the middle of it or whatever that animal is i think those are those just sugar are cookies those are just sugar cookies yeah, i don't know they look <laughs> fake i've never bought them i think it was just sugar <laughs> cookies oh okay well i got i got all of them some of them are Clearly store-bought, some of them are made from scratch. Listen, I didn't have enough time to make all of them, and you can see that she's a bit of a mess. She's got on an apron that does not say grandma on it. It clearly says grandmaster written on it, but she's just scattered all over. Did it, did, do I have enough time to do one more batch? Uh, uh grandmaster, I don't, uh, I'm not sure. Uh, I'm gonna try to grab a cookie. No, 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 no. no. Your sleight of hand was a nine. You definitely do <laughs> not. Real bad. She, she reaches out and smacks you really Ow. hard on the hand. What are you doing? This is clearly for the acolytes. You aren't one of them. What? This is for all of the people why, who are Why do they get system. cookies and I don't get cookies? I work here. You, you, you can get the extra cookies, obviously. This is for the arena, for the event. You are working tonight. You can eat after you're done working. Has, let me ask you this. Has Doug gotten a cookie? Okay, first of all, these have sugar, and everyone knows that dogs can't have sugar cookies. Or ones with chocolate in it. That didn't answer my question. Did you give no, him a cookie? No, he hasn't had one of these. He Good. did get a raw egg earlier, though. Fucking Doug. Well, what, you want a raw egg? <clears throat> uh, Grandmaster, take an egg and <clears throat> I don't want an egg, yes. but I do want Fine. to watch people fight to the death. Oh, it's time, isn't it? Okay, and she'll it's take time. off her oven mitts and start to pull off her apron. Okay, okay, okay. Do I look presentable? Uh, Yeah. I think you look okay. Do I look presentable? Before you bring anyone here, don't let me look like a freaking mess. You got a little... The Grandmaster will kind of dust off any other little scraps and messes and put her crown on her head. The Do I look okay? The Arbiter will just raise his hand and cast Prestidigitation to throw all the flour off of you. <sighs> Fine, thank you. Yeah, see, like I said, fine. Uh, Grandmaster, but I think it's I think it's time we be underway as the Arbiter reaches over, slicing a rift in space and time and pulling today's champions through. For your entertainment and your viewing pleasure, 
Might I introduce your champions? Bully the Brave versus Chansey! What a delight. And I have to say how adorable. Bully, Bully the Brave. Please tell me a little bit about yourself. Not adorable. I am fierce. I am brave. I am strong. And I am here to win. It's a can-do attitude. Oh, I like it. That is a can-do. So cute. Well, he kind of so rustles cute. the feathers when he said adorable. They're like, mm. <laughs> oh, okay. Someone's getting a little fluffed up here. I like it. A little energy before the battle. Fair enough. Fair enough. I am, Bully, have am you always fought ready. Always oh. ready for battle. Yes, I, I once destroyed an Aberwith with my bare hands. I'm sorry, you destroyed a what? Ab Aberwith. An Aberwith. Uh huh. Mm hmm. You mm. dig the, the, the water in the. Uh, uh, sure. Fearsome. Mm. The grandmaster tries not to <laughs> <laughs> mm. Right, right, of course. Very fierce. I bathed, I bathed in its blood. <laughs> yes, of course you did. I mean, I, I, I like the sound of that. If we could get some of that today, I would, I would be interested in watching that Whoa. kind of behavior. <laughs> What does Cloud say? Do I bathe in blood today? That no, um, no, I don't. I don't think you're going to be bathing in anyone's blood except your own. Chancy, <laughs> feel free to introduce yourself to our Grandmaster Elusia Skypiercer. Mm -mm. Hello, oh, me? Well, uh, of course I'm Chancy, but you guys already knew that because I mean everybody knows who I am. I'm Chancy. I don't the know best. who you are. Ever. You know, the, the, the musical wizard, magic, bard, sorcerer, per I, who, you know, what what's, semantics what's a bard? It doesn't matter. Um, you know, I, I have this magical instrument of, and we just kind of uh, make stuff happen. <gasps> you allowed her to bring her own instrument. This is fantastic. You know, they bring swords and shields, but I love it when a bard brings their own instrument. Tell me, are you well versed? Yeah, I mean, I fought 10,000 dragons. I've fought um, 10, whatever that cute thing is over there. I've, I definitely fought, um, uh, you know, the, the witch in the hills, probably. And um, I pet Doug today, so. But can you play a Doug. stairway to heaven? I didn't learn that one. So, um, oh, no, it. but uh, just uh, maybe later. I'll uh, have to check my books and... You know what? I do know it, but uh, it's not ready yet. Sure, 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 sure. Uh, you know, well, I'll give you some time. I know I was on the spot. I don't want to rush you. Maybe, maybe a little concert later, though. After you win, uh, a little stairway to heaven. Maybe some free word. Don't pester her. What? Good grief, what? Arbiter. She's wait, preparing wait. for a fight. Bully has music too. Uh huh. I have the She's most music. destructive metal, deathly musical instrument in the world. Oh, yeah. And Bully uh, pulls out a tiny play. set, like a really tiny set of bagpipes, and just <laughs> blows into one of them without any awareness of how to play them. <laughs> uh, it yes, no sounds like metal to me. Oh, yeah, that is yeah. a memorable sound. Uh, so clearly, when I win, some sort you of also get concert. It will be a concert of blood. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah, uh, we'll, we'll think blood, about that. Whatever, whatever he is. Are you a bird? No, I am a fairy. How dare what's, you insult me with a what's, bird? What's a fairy? I'm just gonna pretend like you didn't say that. <laughs> how, <laughs> These two how are already you? getting along. Please, uh, you two haven't met before, right? Clearly, you both have slain many beasts, but have you ever crossed paths? Hmm, in all my time adventuring? Not once. No. Oh, usually so much death when Bully finished, there's no one left to tell tale. Mm -hmm. I'm starting to think you're a liar. I think you... Oh, when do we fight? Let me at him. Let me at him. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on, hold on. And the Grandmaster will stand in between. Arbiter, perhaps it's time that you uh, take us to the field since we're so fighting for action. Bard, no music yet. Not yeah, yet. I agree, but but first, uh, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll save it. We'll save it. We'll save it. Never mind. As the Arbiter rips open a, a portal through time and space, 
as a, a nice spring breeze blows through the portal. And you find ah. yourselves on a cliff above the water. <laughs> oh, welcome, little champions. This is, well, a place I'll be honest, I don't come to very often. It may look quite lovely here on the seaside where you catch in the breeze that salty flavor. You can taste it on your tongue as you breathe it in. And that breeze just ruffles anyone's feather or hairs and wings all in the right way. Just absolutely picturesque. And while you might think that this could be like a nice little summer visit, well, it's not all that it's cracked up to be. And as you look around, this castle is clearly in ruins as there's pieces of it all around on the ground and even a deep well that echoes around. There's nothing built over it, nothing covering it, but plenty of staircases here or there broken up. And if you were to find yourself such as here up at the top, about 20 feet up in the air where you could look down and clearly see everything. Most of it is fairly climbable, but be careful, for it is a ruin, so not everything is as stable as it might appear to be. Oh, uh, and I forgot to mention that this place has a particular reputation. You see, this used to be a beautiful castle where a lovely maiden stayed, but, well, you see, there was supposed to be a nice little wedding here, but it never happened. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. And with that, the Grand Master will kind of brush things under, covering a few portraits here or there, like pulling sheets down. It doesn't, you don't need to know about any of that. And she'll fly higher up still. And as you follow her up and you see up in the sky, a clear arena of wooden stands all around filled with acolytes screaming your name, noting how adorable, I mean, fierce that you all are chanting for you, begging for the songs because they don't know exactly how good the music is that you all can create. <laughs> some, some of you can create. But they cheer your names, yelling for the fight to begin. Dear champions, and while you are here, of course, to battle it out, do not forget that this fight will be witnessed from those above. And she holds her arms out to the acolytes who cheer and scream and yell, this fight is for them. Find yourself to put on a show of beauty, of fierceness, of intensity, that everything you do, you do it for the eyes that will tell your story, not for the small moments here and there witnessed only by yourself, but for the eyes here who will continue to echo and carry out your legacy and with that, she will take a seat next to Doug high in the sky. The acolytes still cheering and yelling. Arbiter, get them started. Very well, Grandmaster. It's time for dungeons and dice and death matches. As the Arbiter looks at both of you, I need you both to roll a 1d4. All right, we got a two for Chansey. And Ooh. go ahead and go ahead and roll me a second one d four as well. Oh. All right, a one for Bully. Bling getting warmed <laughs> up. All right, a three. This Chansey, you're going to begin this fight over Ooh. here, the side of this cliff. Uh, and Bully, roll me one more d four, please. One, four, okay. You will actually begin this fight inside of the ruins of the castle. So you cannot Ooh. see each Ooh. other at the moment. Ooh. But before the fight begins, I should let you know that the Acolytes have been kind to you. They've awarded both of you each a hero point. <gasps> you can use this hero point to go beyond your limits. Maybe cast an extra spell, take an action surge. Uh, do something else that seems uh, rather unattainable under normal circumstances, but get creative. Additionally, yes. 
The Acolytes have summoned Gerald, the Box of Chaos! <laughs> As the Arbiter waves his hand uh, and a box sh slams down from the sky is a purple box with flames that are pink and yellow shooting out of it and a, a small shadowy figure kind of works his way out the side with a, a small claw uh, and I will roll to see where that's going to go that'll go wow okay so that is actually the box of chaos I'm, you know what yeah the box <laughs> of chaos is going to be at the bottom of this cliff this is that is yes about a that will be about a 10 foot drop Okay. Which you could either jump down or climb. Box of Chaos is a good thing. We want it. The Box of so Chaos. The Box of Chaos will stay there. And either of you can go down and you can sacrifice something of your choice to offer it. And it will give you something in return. Something oh. of a variety of nature. And you will roll to see what perhaps goodness comes from Gerald in the Box of Chaos. Now, both of you are able to do it, so it will not disappear once one person uses it. Okay. Does it move around, like, after it gets used once? It will stay in one place. Okay. <laughs> it is also a free action to uh, to use it, Ooh, to make okay. a sacrifice. And then so. I'm going to do a small little secret roll really quick. Very well. Oh, I two. Need, That's not. I need both of you to roll for initiative. You could, Here we go. And 18 for Chansey. Oh. Oh, well, even with let, advantage, you get a 14. Go <laughs> I'm letting him go first because I want everyone to know that Uli is boy fair also. Letting me go first? Huh, seems mm, like you're not mm. good enough to go first. No. That's mm, not, mm -hmm. no, that's just no way said. I'm Pretty letting sure. you go first so that when I destroy you, it will be that much sweeter. Mm -hmm. Well, come out, come out wherever you are because I don't see you anywhere. And I'm pretty sure you're probably just hiding from me because you're too oh, scared. I'm, I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you now. Okay, After you go. Well, <laughs> I'm looking for you. Let's have you both roll intimidation. Whoever's highest will win this little spat of words this round. <laughs> We're so intimidating. <laughs> the two cutest little beans trying to intimidate us. Holy cow! Woo! A 29, Chansey! <laughs> wow! Look, <laughs> and bullies um, with a nine. I was just saving everything for later. You know, yeah, sure, yeah. sure, yeah, pacing sure. Myself. I have to pace of myself. Mm -hmm, of course. But a 29 compared to a 9, it's close. It's close. It's very but close. Chancy, you are intimidating. Your words cut and slice across this field. Bully, you will have disadvantage this round for any attacks that you make. All right. But I will win even with all <laughs> disadvantage. Use more. More! More! <laughs> All right. Very well, then, Grandmaster. The champions are set. I think it's time to begin round number one. Chancy, you are the first to act. So I move 20 feet forward, and I'll do... Uh, and then I'll do 25, 30, uh, so I can try to get a clear line of sight. And just be like, um, where are you? Little little cutie patootie over here, where are you? I, I, I don't, I I don't hear you. Cute. I am not cute. You I take that back. I must lure you out. Take it back. <laughs> and I think I'm playing like the best tune ever to try to, try, try to lure you out, but it's actually probably pretty mediocre. <laughs> oh, maybe. Give us a performance check. Let us see. I don't know how well you actually play the ocarina in real life, but in D and D, we'll roll and find out. A Twenty-eight. <laughs> the it, not oh, only our Grandmaster and Arbiter are just entranced 
with your abilities like we got a booker for the christmas party i don't we have to <laughs> we, we should have to get chancy in here and the acolytes are like swaying to your music yeah clearly just entranced with this beauty that you have created with just a little sound here or there <laughs> uh, yeah i think we should have her at the summer festival we should open for enrique iglesias yes <laughs> yes i think that would be heck he could open for her that was fantastic that's true that's true it's very good <laughs> Um, and then I like give like a bow and a bow and I, I look up at the crowd and I'm like, yes, yes, thank you, thank you. Um, well, I don't see you, so I'm just going to wait here for you to come to me. Okay. Anything else you want to do uh, f before your turn ends? I am going to cast Blade Ward on myself. <laughs> All right. Blade Ward up. Bully. Don't forget to fix your makeup and maybe lint roll your jacket because you're about to get wrecked. And then I know she can fly. I am on the ground. I am on the ground. I'm gonna go. Can I climb this wall above me? I'm 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 gonna attempt it. Whether I can do it or not, you, whatever. I'm gonna just go over here and start trying to climb this wall. Yeah, yeah, go for it. Roll me in athletics. How tall are you? Uh, like four, three, three feet. Okay. <laughs> I am also three feet, so. Perfect. Perfect. I'm maybe, a, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm three feet and one inch. <laughs> that is definitely, as oh, someone well. who is short, that is definitely how we talk about our height. <laughs> I'm three feet in one and a half inches. Look, everyone, everyone in audience, you know, it is not how tall you are. It's what you do with it. That's definitely how that goes. Yes, absolutely. Huh. I think yeah. we should ask the acolytes. My mom told me that. Acolytes, do you agree? Does, Does height matter? I was going to say size, but that's fine. Well, Does size and or height matter? Does the, yeah. Does size or height matter? I don't know. <laughs> Uh, let's see, you said athletics? Yes. Oh, gosh. <laughs> These are aver all average size Ooh, height. Ooh, that's an 11. An 11, you rolled a two, resulting in an 11. You, you try to, do you have like hands with your feathers, wings? What? A little like claws, they're called claws. Not claws. hands, claws. Claws, claws. <laughs> you can't seem to find a little even give within this wall. Every time you stick a claw in, it crackles a little bit, <laughs> crumbling below your feet. And you try to grab for another one and you can get maybe three feet up in the air and then you slide all the way back down. Your little claw marks leaving its scars on these walls. Well, he like kind of lands on his butt and does like a, like a let his little feet kind of. The way saw that. It's funny. You're making a lot the of noise over that. there. Are you OK? Oh, yeah, you just wait till you see what I'm doing over here. You just wait. Mm -hmm. You know what? They do seem to be on your size, uh, side. Mm, sorry. Enough of the acolytes seem to argue that height does not matter. Maybe girth matters more or <laughs> strength well, matters. Um, well, he is very wide for a night -quee -quee. Very wide. It's very girthy. Go ahead and roll mm. athletics again. Seeing if that strength, not your height, is what will get you up there. Uh, woo! <laughs> 25. Uh, 25. Yes, it is strength, not height. It turns out oh, size yeah. does not matter, and you can still get to that peak where everyone is happy. You claw your way all the way up, digging those claws in, showing that strength to everyone's satisfaction. <laughs> all right, you're on top you of this wall. Find, yes, that is about, a, since that's as tall as the other tower over on the opposite side at 20 i mean 19 feet in some because it's crumbled rounding up to 20 feet getting real specific here huh oh uh, you know it's crumbled we were well, listen we were very specific with the height so i figured we should still be here so it's like 19 <laughs> uh feet and six inches five eighths -ish. 
Yeah, and five days. Yes, five days. It was important. You yeah. are round up, so you round up. Yeah, yeah. All right, on top of the wall, what do you do? Um, did I take all my movement? Uh, 20 feet of it. Yeah. I want to run. <laughs> on a crumbly wall? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> okay. Actually, no, 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 no. Uh, I'm just gonna, Bully's gonna ruffle his feathers and get real short and hide for a second. I want the element of supplies. So you climbed up to a high peak. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> for the element of surprise. Yeah. So I you pick up a brick, in the middle like of the a loose air. brick, and I just kind of hold it in front of my eyes. Okay. <laughs> So you well, are for stealth, like yeah. Yeah. Let's you hold up a pebble in front of your face. Mm -hmm. Let's see how well Look, you blend if in. If I can't see him, he can't see me. <laughs> it's a perfect. five. You it's you perfect. think this is you can't see. You cannot see Chansey mm. at all. He mm. can yeah, he cannot see your eyes. Mm. But Chansey, you could possibly see the rest of Bull. <laughs> All right, as you hide... This, this is my turn. I'm confident. As you hide behind a rock, end of the round, Grandmaster, we also have our first chaos event. What? Yes! Chaos, chaos, chaos. Chaos, I love chaos. Chaos, chaos. Exactly. You're not going to be saying that in a moment. What is happening here? <laughs> oh, it's the best. It is the best. Let's see here. You know what? I apparently can't seem to find Bully. So, Chansey, let's have you roll the d20 for me. Ooh, <laughs> I shall do this. Let's Probably see because what I'm the best, so obviously. <laughs> Obvi obviously, clearly. I mean, we're picking favorites, Ooh, right? 16, solid number. 16. <laughs> I didn't honestly <laughs> think this one would get picked, but it does. It is a game of dodgeball. <laughs> nice. As this happens, <laughs> and you roll that 16, the acolytes know what this summons. From their pockets, they bring out a variety of random objects to throw down at you all. I will say, Bully, you are on this very, very treacherous little stand up here. So you are going to roll yeah, with this advantage. It's okay. No one can see me, so it's fine. Yeah, mm -hmm. of course. No, it's no fine. one can see you. It's the feathers. They blend right in. Yep. They do look almost like mm -hmm. rocks, except very mm -hmm. soft and they move. You're right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so as you prepare... <laughs> and you turn yourself into as much of a rock, both of you will need to roll deck saving throw bully with okay. disadvantage and the acolytes <laughs> will toss as much as they can at you. I'm seeing dice and hot dogs, even a sword. I don't, is that spaghetti? Cheese even. even. No, pasta, cheese, a Fish good heads. combination. Green jello dancing, Elmo's there, fish Bees. heads. What? 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 Bees. I thought you guys liked my music. Stop! Stop! This is not what happens There's when someone, someone likes something. Stop! Donuts and donuts and a dumpster fire. Santa and Claus. Santa Claus. <laughs> bunny rabbit and spilled tea. Spilled tea. Okay, now we're getting chaotic. Rain it in as crickets fall from the sky, and even a little squirtle. Oh, that's sad. We like squirtles. So please, <laughs> please dodge. How well did we do? A Bully third? with a seven. No, no good. No good. <laughs> Chancy with a 12. You both will fail as you find a raccoon landing on your head. Chancy giving you scratches. <laughs> Clawing <laughs> away. <laughs> Stop. This is, this is not how you, how you treat a diplomat. Not, not at all. <laughs> I've seen a lot of strange ones. Is that Grim from McDonald's? He just lands on you, Bully, just like a flat old bludgeoning damage as this comes through. Let me roll. Somebody me somebody pump. in the crowd e even throws their own feces onto the field as it Perfect. lands. <laughs> as, as you do. As, as one does at a sporting event. As, mm. as one does. So you will take full damage, both of you. 13 points of damage. Does my blade ward uh, assist in this mm. at all? 
Because uh, uh, I, I take believe. you have resistance against bludgeoning, piercing, slashing damage dealt by weapon attacks. Yep. Does this count as a weapon? Yes. Yes. The acolytes are definitely intending these as weapons. <laughs> you will take uh, seven points of damage, and then we round up. All right. Perfect. You have survived the first chaotic event. Congratulations, dear champions. I believe that means from you, Arbiter, I need a roll as well. Here we go. Ooh, 17. That's nice. 17. That is very nice. It's a good I number. Like that. It is a good number. It's respectable for it, once. Now, I will say it is at the end of round two, correct? It is the end of round one, Grandmaster. It is round one. I can't count. Never mind. That's Forget okay. what I was going to say. In, never mind. I'm just going to shut up. Let us continue then. <laughs> Round number two. Fight. Uh, hmm. Well, I still don't see you. So, well, I'm just going to fly. You knew I could fly, right? Of course you did. You've heard tales of me all over this round. Um, and I'm just going to fly like 30 feet up. Yeah. Um, Go for do, it. Do I see Bully? I mean, go ahead and roll, and you are specifically looking for bully, so I'm going to give you an insight. As okay. long as you roll higher than a five, the answer will be yes. <laughs> investigation, right? Or sorry, investigation. Oh, insight? Yeah. Okay, that was an insight. an insight. Let me roll investigation. Hold on. That's... So this is investigation. Apologies. Oh, dear. Oh. <laughs> Inside would invisible. be pretty dope. <laughs> with, with a four, Bully does apparently look like a rock. I am a rock. Hmm. I thought I would have summoned you with my glorious music. You do, you do have an idea which direction he's in if you'd like to make an yes. attack with this advantage. I don't think I have anything that goes that far. Uh... <laughs> Well, actually, I think if you if does. you want, you can do thirty feet in a direction if you'd like. Sure. I can do actually. I can do fireball at at Adam. Um, Sweet. So I'll attempt fireball um, at Bully's direction. Okay. Well, I heard rocks and huffing and puffing from this direction, so uh, mm -hmm. I'm just gonna see what happens as I like I my um. My spells look like a slew of like musical notes that come out of my ocarina. Mm. Um, as I <laughs> roll um, my Beautiful. attack, roll with... or not my. Yep, yep, That's you're good my... with disadvantage. Yeah. Oh, with disadvantage. Should yeah, because second one. Okay, so that's the second it's... one. Twenty-seven's pretty good. Eighteen for the second bully does an eighteen hit. Uh, yeah, let's go hit me. Okay, roll <laughs> the damage. Notes, whew, as All if right. they are attracted to Bully. <laughs> yeah, it's Holy. really amazing that she could, or that he could, he could find me. <laughs> <laughs> as my notes come uh, hurling your way. And I'm just like, hmm, I knew I was good enough to find you. <laughs> as you get hit with 16 points of fire damage that comes in. Uh, Chansey, was this the way that you also murdered all those dragons? Oh, uh, well, that that's a tale for another time. I mean, oh, there's, there's so many dragons, so many tales and- uh, Hundreds, I mean, right? Hundreds of dragons. Thousands. 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 Ten, I think 10,000 was the number, wasn't it? 10,000 dragons. 10,000 10, 10, yes. dragons. 10,000 dragons. I mean, they've gotta be an endangered species at this point. <laughs> Most definitely. I am known as the Dragon Slayer of across these lands. Everyone knows oh, yeah. that. Should we call the Rangers or something? It seems, it seems um, excessive. Please don't. I, I don't think that's a good idea. The, the, oh, park, I think the park services are going to want to hear about this. I don't think that's a good idea. Please do not do Look, that. Anyone can kill a dragon. Like, mm. we all know this. Is a dragon a different breed of a dragon? <laughs> a dragon? What? Do I? Dragon? It is. Oh, I mean, of course, think, yeah, a dragon. Is is the Grandmaster okay? I don't think Grandmaster understands me. Does Grandmaster um, have hearing problems? 
I yeah, want to be a rude. little bit older, a couple hundred years. Whoa. It's it's Whoa. my bad. I okay, apologize, okay. bully. I'll speak louder next time. Thank you. Thank Welcome. you. Welcome. <laughs> right, Chancy, anything else for your turn in round number two? Um, I just take like a bow, like okay. I just did the best thing in the whole world. <laughs> All right, uh, then Bully, getting hit by yeah. this fireball. My feathers a little singed. This does not smell good, but it sends me into. Well, we'll save. We'll save that. I'm like at half wage, like halfway to a wage. So you know. So, yeah. uh, but I'm gonna. Oh, I can use this hero. Wait, okay. I can use this hero point to go a little above and beyond. Think yep. like action surge, doubling your movement. Okay. I know exactly what I'm doing. Epic. Boy okay. is gonna. Uh, he hasn't taken out his weapons yet. Actually, you see like maybe four or five different types of axes and a bunch of other miscellany just strapped to his back. But he's still just got his little claws out, and you can see why now because he gets down on all fours Ooh. and starts running along the Shia walls. LaBeouf. And I'm gonna <laughs> run. Up here, jump down here, jump across this, and I think that would be my normal movement. But I'm gonna use my hero point to run ten feet more and do a long jump in the air onto Chansey. Let's have you roll an acrobatics to see okay. if you can make all these jumps as okay. you, the flying boulder, leap from one yeah. thing to another. <laughs> And I'm using charger, so if I can make the jump, oh, I get to do an attack. Yeah, yeah you definitely do. Let's go. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! <laughs> right. Okay, what is this? Ac ac Acrobatics. Acrobatics. Oh, come on, guys! <laughs> I also <laughs> would like to use cutting words to, like, just as they're about to jump, say "that's cute" as a reaction, oh. Um, oh. and so I oh, can make the roll less. I think it worked. How much less? Uh, so let me hit the whatever value this thing is. Okay. <laughs> oh! Nine points no! less! No! Change that 12 to a three. And I, and I go, oh, how cute. <laughs> he thinks he can run. <laughs> At the last minute, as I'm about to leap off, I hear that and just start to teeter. You, yeah, you make the distance on this jump with all that the hero point and athleticism. You make this distance, but it is not a graceful landing as that vicious mockery uh, comes in or, or cutting words. You'll take six yeah. points of bludgeoning damage as you <laughs> into the ground right there in front of. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's kind of like you make that first jump, you hop to the second, and as you are about to push off, there comes those adorable words of you're so cute. And in fact, you truly are like the cutest little owlet plushie that's flying through the air, big old eyes, beak open, feathers just <laughs> through the wind. And my it bare feet you do off. this little, like, yeah, they stutter. Yeah, it's feet really just cute. For, stutter for as you push off of it and you hit the ground hard, face first, doing a nice little tumble roll all through the dust and you are going to fall about 10 feet short of your target. For a moment you get that buzz light you're feeling where you think you're flying and then it's just <laughs> it'll be about yeah, you'll be about here. Okay. There we go. Perfect. All I have to say is the world is not ready for a buoy that can fly. <laughs> that would be too much for all of you. We are not ready. We are not ready for it. <laughs> all right. But you still You're are not able. Even worthy for it, yeah. You're still able to take the. Uh, well, I, I guess technically Chansey's thirty feet in the air, so Chansey yeah, is. Yeah, I don't think I can attack. I don't think you can reach. You got anything you can throw? Oh yeah, I can throw something. <laughs> There's stuff littering like that the attitude. floor. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, they threw. They threw all sorts of stuff. Let's see. What do I yeah. see? I see a flaming. It's like a. It used to be a hot pepper, but it's just on fire. So I'm just gonna yeah. pick that up and just fling oh, no, it not straight that, up at Chancy. No. no. That flaming hot pepper throws. Yeah. Go ahead and. Um, oh, I hope you're yeah. ready for something spicy. Make that attack. And and I don't know how to do. Uh, um, you can do. I just have tavern brother. So I should be. It should be to throw something. Uh, your oh, yeah. tavern brawler strike is a is a 
Was it plus nine? Just roll with the plus nine. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, if you just want to roll to hit with any of your other weapons that's of the plus nine, go for it. Yeah. We'll just okay. use our brain. Ooh, 16. Does a 16 hit, Chansey? Yes. Yeah. Oh, as I, like, like, get off the pepper off my petticoat, like, gross. <laughs> so roll that uh, 1d4 plus 5, but go ahead and add an extra d4 of fire damage as you throw in a flaming pepper. Oh, come on, Chansey. As a bard, at some point starting off, somebody's Ooh. throwing bad food at you, right? Oh, absolutely not. I'm the best around. <laughs> Haven't you heard? I'm, you've had to have heard tales about me. You had to have. Yeah, of course. Of course. The Grandmaster look at the Arbiter. We've heard of Chansey the bard before who's slain 10,000 dragons. The Arbiter, it, in a quick moment of magic, rips open his, his chest and has magically uh, apparated a Chansey concert tea. Yeah, I've been, I've been to all their concerts. Every single one of them. So you said rip open your chest. I thought this was very bloody. Just rip it open my literal, <laughs> yeah. Carved on my bones is Chansey's name. <laughs> like, hold up here. Wait a minute. You, I am so mad. I am so mad. And, and, and well, he's just fluffing up like more than you thought was possible. He's so mad. And his uh, head, his little owl head kind of spins around. <laughs> Chancey, you'll take that nine bludgeoning or uh, half if your blade ward is up. So five uh, and then not, not up. Okay. So, I think I have to redo it every time, right? Okay. Let me double check, but uh, nine bludgeoning and one fire. Let me take a double ch double check at blade ward. Yeah. Looks like it's one round. So this is round two. Oh, yeah. You're right. You're right. You didn't. Uh, you'd have to recast oh. it for sure. So we take nine. Nine bludgeoning and one fire. Right, so, so we'll do it for a total of ten. Okay. And oh, then no. Bully's gonna look up, look look up, like way up, because he, he's so short to the crowd. It looks like Chansey can't handle the heat! Bye! <laughs> 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 uh, ah, yeah! yeah! Gross, gross, gross. <laughs> and then is it my turn? All right, end of round number two. Oh, oh, right. it's a 19. That's actually not embarrassing. Yeah, I know, right? Not a, okay. That's what, I, well that's what I'm time. aiming for. You are doing really well this time. On a hot streak, it's the Chansey T. As we roll, and wrap up round two. All of a sudden, the sky begins to turn very dark. And it's strange, oh. it's unusual. Like oh. a chill comes through the air and you feel goosebumps starting from your spine and then inching out across your arms to your very fingertips. A chill that feels unnatural. And it's strange because it was bright outside. The sun was high noon, not a cloud in the sky, but suddenly it goes pitch dark almost. And the evening has magically appeared within this space. Almost dark and eerie. And you hear a small, soft voice just echoing through these ruins. Oh, remember, dear champions, be careful. You see, these forgotten ruins, well, they're not abandoned. Someone may still live here. <laughs> and we will begin round three. All right. Um, someone lives here? What does, what does that mean? Um, I don't know. Well... I don't see any signs that they like no trespassing. Hmm. And as um, I, I say, thirty feet in the air, but um, I'm like upset that you threw like nasty, gross fire pepper <laughs> at me, and I'm just like, don't you know the queen herself gave me this petticoat? You, 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 and then I throw vicious mockery um, at. Uh, I add uh, bully, and I'm like, you cute little thing, you use so fluffy <laughs> as you are. <laughs> um, 
which is just a wisdom saving throw. Um, you unleash a string of insults laced with subtle enchantments and a creature that you see within range. If the target can hear you, but would not understand you, it must succeed on a wisdom saving throw. Ooh. Oh, I'm so good at wisdom. You're Are you? So good. You don't look very smart to me. Wisdom <laughs> saving throw. Let's see. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> oh, a nat 20 bullet! The nat 20! 20. Your, ones, your ones don't work on me! I don't even know who Queen is! Um, and then does it even take half or does it just not hit? Uh, With a nat 20, it will not. It may on a normal save, but I'm going to rule that with that nat 20, Bully is all brains. <laughs> you know, this round rock is just full of brains. I don't know how many, mm. but massive brains so, here. So many, there's like like five, 400. 400 brains. That's, <laughs> yeah. that's, we heard it from Bully, which they is apparently so wise. The, the, the brain, brain, Bully the brain. Bully the brain. Yeah. Yes. Mm. In Our brains are really wide. Oh too. my goodness. I can't. I can't mm. I can't believe that didn't hit. Um, I've never had something not hit before. Well, um, and then embarrassed, I fly. Uh, let me see what. Uh, let's go twenty. You have to uh, click the person 20. in the thing, right? Yeah. So we'll do five, ten, fifteen, twenty, um, and then twenty-five, thirty, like that. I'm five, thirty feet away from you. And then and thirty um, up. Yep. No, no, no. Wait, thirty up. You're you're thirty yeah, up already. already. 30 up. Yeah, yeah, I'm flying, already. Right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I'm okay. I'm just like staying. I'm so I'm thirty he's up. Way away from me. Yeah, because I'm just embarrassed. So I'm just like wallowing in my my own little guilt, and I will end my turn. Are you? Are you? Yeah, crying? you go that's a free action. Over there. You just go quiet. But. I've never not hit anything. I don't understand why I didn't hit. I mean, come, I'm the best. Don't you know who I am? I'm, I'm a chancy. Everybody knows who I am. This is why I quickly make best warriors. We never cry. We don't even have tear ducts. You don't even have to It's be not so possible. It's totally normal to cry. Everybody cries sometimes, admit it. Well, I mean, I maybe if you stop flying around like a little cry baby, don't you, don't you, don't you, don't you. come down and fight like a man. Bird. At, at this Fairy? point, I go like so high pitched that it's like unaudible noises. It's just like, <laughs> like, like <laughs> oh, that's painful. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that Ooh. alone. Go, go ahead and just roll a d20 to see if that hurts. Just a flat roll to see if that can attack with a high pitched voice. <laughs> just, uh, yeah, I feel it hurts. <laughs> this is a very What's unpleasant. Your dogs, but very big ears. A 12. Does a 12 hurt? Uh, no. No, no. <laughs> no. It's high pitched. Not pleasant to listen to, but not enough like that it. you have to turn away. <laughs> I'm a failure. Yeah, I'm just like wallowing. <laughs> okay. And then, yeah, then I end here. <laughs> kind of wants to get away from crying. So I'm gonna one. Really runs another like 35 over here. Mm -hmm. And then I want to jump and run down the cliff to get to that box. I okay. think with my 35 movement speed, I can get there. Yeah, I would say you could you you could get there. You were only it's a ten foot drop. We yeah. said and it's twenty five as a straight oh, shot. The oh, the ten. Okay, I didn't know that was the ten. I'm very short, so it was a little scary. Or yeah, yeah. Do you want to hop it to or you. do you want to climb down? Oh yeah, can I like get on all fours and just down there? Are you going face first in this climb down? Yeah, <laughs> this yeah. Is very brave. Yeah, give well, me an I'm athletics. Boy, brave. Boy, brave is what they call me. It's true. Climb oh, down, I'm roll down. You'll, you'll get down there. This. Don't you? Yes, we are pulling up wave. We got so many oh, yeah. names. Bully the brave. Bully the brains. Where bully are we going? Bully the fierce. Bully the strong. Bully the murderer. Bully wait, wait, the sorry, what? destroyer. You, you heard me. The, the murderer? 
Are you also Murder. old? Why is everyone so old here? Okay, I run. <laughs> I'm aged like a fine wine. Lily <laughs> is gonna one. attempt to trade with the, the chest. Okay, uh, out of that- uh, I that have to sacrifice something? Sacrifice yes. something. Yes, did you roll that athletics to see if you could crawl down there? Oh, yeah, 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 sorry. Thought no, I no, did. no, it's okay, it's okay. It's too much excitement. You, you were so thrilled. Oh yeah, with 23, you make it down easily. Like you were meant to climb. This rock, very steady. You dig your claws in, this this is smooth going for you. You approach the box. Hey, Tiffy, look at this. What? I'm about to get something awesome to murder you with. Go, but- Okay, so we're gonna, I gotta figure out what to trade first. So let's see, I've got, well, I've got my bagpipes. Uh, I've got my, I can't give you my ex. I've got this thing and Bully pulls out what to the audience is clearly, um, to the acolytes is clearly a lute, like a musical instrument, but like very small as if it was made for Bully or, or a fairy, I don't know. I have this I, thing, I don't know what it does though. So maybe not a very widen, good trade. Like, no, that's mine. You better not do that. That's mine. I know you took it. Well, this? I think, no, this is a, you're using it to bash things with. You stole it. I knew you stole it. I did it. not steal it. It was in the rack of weapons that they said anybody could have. You stole it. Oh, I'm not going to trade this now. No, I'm going to keep this because now you better come to me. That's right. You wouldn't. <laughs> now I'm going to trade I something like else. I like really um, like respectfully roll up the sleeves of my petticoat, so it's like <laughs> <laughs> respectfully roll those suckers up. Yeah. What, like, what would like, it look like if you like, disrespectfully did it? Just kind of like this. <laughs> scrunch. You know? yeah, there's a scrunch and then there's a roll where you then yeah. button it. Yeah. So, yeah, fair. yeah. Fair. Um, yeah. <laughs> Lee's gonna trade. Oh, sorry. No, no, no. Go You're ahead. Good. Your turn. I, I, this is smart. This loot now is worth more now that somebody else wants it. <laughs> I'm not trading. Yeah, I'm not trading the loot. I yeah, need to keep yeah. that now, but I will trade. I don't have. A, I need my weapons, so I think Bully's just gonna take all of his clothes off because he doesn't need those. <laughs> He's an owl. Bring... Yeah. So yep. I have like a Let's... fur pelt cloak, and I have like here. Just you could take these. I don't need this. I don't need this anymore. It's very hot, anyways. I'm very hot, so okay. um, I'll trade those. All right, as shadowy hands Bully. lift up out of these flames, grabs your clothes. These are just my size. And uh, the box lid will shut poof, and rumble and shake. Poof, and uh, I need you to roll me a 1d10. I like it. Stripping down. One. All right. Roll me a d100. Ooh. I offer you my used clothing. Mm, they smell really <laughs> like good. It. I've been seasoning them. Seasoning. <laughs> I love seasoned mm. clothes. Mm. Got that nice smell to it. Roll me one more d10. Okay. <laughs> okay. And I'm just scouring over <laughs> at Bully <laughs> the whole time. Death glare. Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm like, you better not be trading my loot. <laughs> well, I'm gonna do it. Mm. I'm gonna do it. Uh, so, as this box rumbles and shakes and <laughs> out, the lid flips open and out shoots a column of fire with. It's producing no heat, but it's these pink and yellow flames that shoot up into the sky. And out of this uh, chest floats a, a blank spell scroll. Tell me what you'd like to be able to do. I don't Pick a spell. Any spell. I don't know. I don't know any spells. This sounds like a bad magic trick. Pick a spell, any spell. <laughs> what? 
Arbiter, the help, the help bully out. Make a good recommendation. Uh, you use spells oh, and that someone, stuff. Yeah, yeah. T- tell me. Anyone, anyone spells. Tell me good spells. Yeah, our acolytes up above. Do you recommend yeah. any spells? Yeah, I don't want Arbiter to tell spell because Arbiter is Chinsy super fan. That's true. That's true. That's wearing the t-shirt. Sent, sent on his him to the club with the little cards, like, you know, gets newsletters. I don't want oh, to, nothing well, to do Billy, with you, if, Arbiter. If you recall, they're both fans of me. Haven't you heard? <laughs> as that, so, as you stare at the scroll and uh, Chanty mocks you from the background, the uh, the flames begin to, to write burning the words onto the page and it's just one word and it says fly you could cast the fl- well, well, that could. <laughs> you could cast the fly spell giving you a flying speed of 60 feet so you'd be able to fly 60 feet instead of your 35 foot movement uh, if you choose to cast it on yourself up to 10 minutes beautiful okay beautiful okay okay I was really hoping for a spell of castration, but that's okay. It's castigation, <laughs> and it's a blood hunter feat. <laughs> spell it is hard. One sounds way cooler than the uh, other. I it's agree. O- it's okay, Grandmaster. Bully don't know how to spell either. <laughs> Thank you, Bully. You're welcome. See, even Bully with his 400 brains can't spell. Yeah, spelling is really hard. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jeez. All right, Bully, anything uh, else for your turn? Can I, ca- I can't cast that now. I think that was all my Did stuff. you use an action? I had to dash, yeah. So. Yeah, okay. Then, uh, then yeah. No, so, I didn't, because I, I climbed down. You climbed down. Yeah, oh, yeah you yeah, didn't have to dash. That was your own oh. movement, so you do actually can cast a spell. Yeah, I'm going to cast a spell. Thank you. Oh, yes, you are the best. And he doesn't really know how to cast spells or what a spell is. So he kind of looks at it and like, like beaks it a little and then kind of like waves it around and, and somehow in the method of waving it around it kind of casts itself is doesn't know yeah as you as you do the the, the spell scroll bursts into that pink and uh, yellow flames and just kind of like coats around your uh, your body and your wings as it lifts you off the ground just a little oh. bit boy is taller all right then it's good spell End of you, round you three. Taller. You're flying, bully. Taller. You're flying. Fly! Twelve. Ugh. Noted. Noted. You know, you know, Arbiter, I have to admit, mm-hmm. you're rolling much higher than I thought. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. Finally, a little recognition. Over at the side and is a little defeated. You could roll a little lower just so he has the chance to roll, okay? I... No. I will roll the dice. Doug can sit where the fuck he's at. Doug kind of whimpers a little bit, opening his big pug eyes, looking up, holding his green little D20 squish toy in his mouth, and he bites it gently, and it lets out like a set. <coughs> squeak sound out of it. Come on, just... You gotta let him throw one. Fine. Roll another. Make sure it's lower. Oh my gosh! Are you kidding me? And I'm sorry. Doug just runs off in anger and embarrassment that he still hasn't got a chance. Do you know I, what? I have to go get him. I have to go I, get him. <clears throat> you should have rolled. I asked you to do one thing to roll lower, and you didn't. Okay, we have to go on break. Ten minutes. Let me go get Doug. Reassure him, and we will continue when we get back. Thanks a lot, Arbiter. See you in ten minutes. The Arbiter falls. Two fists catch fire with blue flame as he bends to the side to thrust both arms into the center mass of the arbiter with every ounce of strength left hell yeah that's fucking cool let's go dude yeah
that fountain, a small laughter you hear, and then it seeps into a lullaby, and a small porcelain doll can be made out. Will you play with me? Creepy. Oh, oh my god, on. we have oh, a picture? On. We have a picture? <laughs> Get this off oh, my screen! No. <laughs> Get it off my screen! No. Head twisted towards the both of you, waiting. Oh. Who wants to be my friend? Ooh. Nice dice, dice daddy. Good roll, dice daddy. That's it, dice daddy. Don't be shy. Get in there. Thanks, Dice Daddy. beyond the comforts of home, past the dimly lit taverns, the gently swaying fields, the tallest snow-clad mountain peaks, and above even the golden horizon itself, lies a dark void outside of all space and time. If you're lucky, the dread fortress will call to you, drawing you out of the darkness and into the halls of the Grand Master. A Lucia Skypiercer. Though retired from battle, the Grand Master yearns for the days of glory and bloodshed. She has tasked the Arbiter, her servant in all things, to curate a spectacle, a series of games to commemorate her greatness and provide a momentary respite from the dull droning of boredom. Heroes, villains, monsters and beasts of all shapes and sizes are ripped from time and their plane of existence to fight for survival in her arena. You, Acolyte, are called to bear witness to D20 Deathmatch. <laughs> You know who liked it when I was up there? Your mother! <laughs> <laughs> up where, exactly? Hey, I don't think you want to know. That's your mother we're talking oh, about. No, I feel like we should know. I, well, let's just bush, say she preferred me to hand her through the back door, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> and I got right up in there. In the kilt the gives me easy access. You just pull oh, it up and right? down like a drawbridge. I see. So that would... Be, are you a grower and not a shower? Is that what this is all about? It's a bit of both. It starts with the show. Yourself? Is that what this is all about? Are you trying to intimidate or persuade him? I mean, it's a bit of both. I
All right. We are back for the second half of D20 Deathmatch. Bully now with the fly spell. Able to fly 60 feet. We are in round number five, I believe. Is this number five already? I wasn't. I didn't count. Three, you know, we're going to call, three, we're gonna call two, it five. Twelve. Count, counting's also really hard, so... How many rounds do we have? It was four. It was four, right? It was four. Round number four. four. The acolytes say four. There it is, math. Very well. Round yes. number four, Chansey. You're able to act. I uh, um, so I go down and well, I can see um, bully right now. Yeah, you're thirty feet up. You can see over the edge of this cliff. Okay. I am going. And Bully is flying, hovering. Just, just barely. Just barely. Yeah. Okay. So their little toesies are like, oh hi. Okay. <laughs> what we're going to do is cast. Um, where did it go? I do not see it. Um, Tasha's. No, no, not yet. Sorry. I had this all planned out and then I got, I'm panicking. <laughs> Just panicking. Kidding. We heard nothing. Um, okay. I smirk and I'm like, oh, well, if you have my loot, well, I need to get it back. Um, okay, this will do it. And I cast Fireball on Bully. Ooh, hot, hot heat. And then I don't know if you're that, gonna get your loot back. It'll be fine. It's a metal loot. The queen gave it oh. to me, obviously. You're gonna make the need to make a dexterity saving throw, bully. Okay. Seventeen. Seventeen. Or else you're gonna take thirty-one fire damage. <laughs> oh, you're gonna take thirty-one fire damage, possibly. Oh, you get advantage on that. Nice. No, I. It's the first one. I'm sorry. Oh, I, okay. I was like, oh, okay. Accent. I take I the damage. Was, yeah. I don't know if like owls had like a little special thing. Oh, I wish. Thirty-one points of fire damage. You just can't then, get away from a fire today. Um. And you, you, you know what? Um, I'm pretty sure this ought to do it too. And then I use my hero point to cast a second spell, which is Ooh. going to be polymorph. And I'm going to turn you into a butterfly. And I'll say, if you think you can fly, you might as well be a creature who can fly well. And the <sighs> butterfly is like, really stinking cute and also has like a blue matching petticoat with Bridgerton vibes um, that oh. is matching my petticoat. Okay, Polymorph, <laughs> that is a wisdom saving throw. Oh my gosh. Please don't be smart. Please don't be smart. What's the save? <laughs> 17. Okay, you a thirteen. Are, you are polymorphed into a butterfly <laughs> at the moment. Mm. Just beautiful, and I like the pop culture reference. Look, it's a Bridgerton one. <laughs> also, Arbiter, remind me never to steal anything from Chansey. Oh my gosh, <laughs> dude, I don't want to get on his bad side at all. <laughs> Oh, my biggest fans. You can never get on my bad side. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bully, come here. Fly hither and give me my loot back before I crush you. Okay. And I actually will um, not be 30 feet from the ground. Um, I will be on the ground, like waiting on the ground, stamping my feet like a mom would, like as they wait for like their kid to come and like do their homework or something. I don't know. Okay. As you, uh, yeah, as you uh, land on the ground, roll me a perception check. Ooh. Uh, perception check is this guy. Okay. You uh 
yeah as you as you land on the ground the ground starts to feel strange to you starts to feel uh, not painful or, or harmful in any way just some sort of energy that you are unfamiliar with kind of echoing through this place and you start to get uh kind of goosebumps and chills all over your body as the temperature in the area seems to drop a couple of degrees but uh mm. unsure of, of why that is uh okay <laughs> anything else for your turn no i will end there <laughs> okay bully now in butterfly form bully the butterfly oh, you've been so cuter cute. than before yes you just hear like a little squeaky <laughs> Um, what what can I do as a butterfly? I don't know. <laughs> this is probably more works at all. Okay, okay, I have an idea. I have an idea. Uh, bully, bully, bully fly. Uh, thank you, thank you, audience. Uh, bully fly is gonna just flutter away from Chansey because this is the worst thing that's ever happened in Bully's life, entire life. <laughs> worst thing, worst moment of his life. Um. And, and is going to flutter down and land on the nose of the most fearsome beast that he can find. Uh, Doug, was it? Uh, the butterfly is just going to land on his little nose and do a little... <laughs> Landing That's on top of That's Doug's nose. It's perfect. <laughs> yes. It, it's, it's adorable. This... The whole crowd is like... Aww. Aww. Yeah. Doug stands perfectly still, just entranced by this magic in which you have granted him. Perfect. Uh, Bully is yelling, beast, him, but no one can hear because butterfly voice. Trying to communicate with Doug to get Doug to attack. Yeah. Roll a... Yeah. Roll an animal handling. Yeah. Do I have to do it with disadvantage because I'm a butterfly? Actually, with advantage. Advantage because you're a butterfly. Yeah, yeah you kiss, you you butterfly kissed his nose, so you'll get advantage with animal okay. handling. Okay. Sixteen. <laughs> Doug does approve of this. As you gently waft off of his nose, he is going to hop down and try to do a landing pounce attack. So on this, this is going to be a roll. And as you're rolling, Chansey, who's overly confident, is like, oh, come here, puppy, come here, with like arms wide open, <laughs> like not expecting an attack, but more like a running of love. <laughs> running of love, ready yeah. to embrace this. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> okay, okay. Doug. Falling from above. Oh, does a 23 hit? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Doug pounces on you, pinning your wings down to the ground. Like, you are oh. now grounded for a hot second. Oh. Too much love. Too much love. You are, oh, you are going to take 11 <laughs> points of bludgeoning damage, and he's going to take a small nip at you as well. Oh, All for animals this. love me. All does animals it, love me. Does a 10 hit? No. It does not. He nips, but he misses. And then he kind of growls at you a little bit, angry that you've hurt his butterfly friend, and he'll hop back up, still growling at you from up above. You will Perfect. need to make a constant <laughs> concentration check to see if you can hold polymorph. Oh, oh yeah. So that's a D20? Uh, oh, no, no. Your concentration, I, your con. My constitution. Yeah, constitution would be concentration. Yep. The little box. Seven. Able to maintain. Easy. Seventeen. Easy peasy. Nice. You're still focused. Head in the game. You're no I'm amateur like... bard. <laughs> and as I'm like covered in slobber, I'm just like, no, dogs love me. Dogs love me. I can introduce you to the queen's dog. I've met that dog a thousand times. <laughs> you know what? Roll. If you're telling the truth that you know the queen's dog, roll persuasion. If I you do know not know the that. queen's dog, roll. Deception. Well, 
Deception. Yes. That's the word I was looking not for. No, the queen. I was looking for liar on lying. the sheet. I was like, liar's not on there. No, I am lying out of my ass. <laughs> All right, roll deception. <laughs> Doug actually does know many dogs in the realm, so. 19, though. <laughs> Wanting definitely to keep his good reputation with the other dogs, he does stay seated in his throne above. <laughs> nice. Okay. <laughs> end, Perfect. End of the round, Grandmaster. Yes, Doug will roll. Oh, Doug's gonna roll? <clears throat> no, it's fine. It will take your 12. Okay. We'll take your 12. Okay, no, we're not. We're gonna let Doug roll. I mean, yours was enough. Yours was enough. But Doug wants to roll. Let hear him that, have this moment. Hear that, Doug? It's Nine. a participation trophy. It's not a participation trophy, but you hit the threshold. We now have triggered the Arbiter's event without any help of Doug because the Arbiter refused to allow Doug to participate. Everyone remember this. As you notice, increasingly, round after round, it has gotten colder and colder still. And that voice, that hum, that whisper through the winds has gotten to your ears. It gets louder and louder, calling out, and you can almost make out that sound. Frederick! Frederick! Where are you? And out of the well, your eyes drawn to it, except for you, bullies. You cannot see this down on the ground. <laughs> the ghost crawls out, hand in hand, but still floating, almost ethereal. A young maiden, long blonde hair flowing out, a small little tiara gently placed on her head, a beautiful gown all in white. Frederick. Where are you? And she'll wander out. And out into this area, she sees you, almost senses both of you, and will raise you bully up to eye height. Why are the two of you here? Neither are you, Frederick. And she'll get angry, yelling at you, her voice echoing without this space. Not as if it's coming from her, but in this space all around. It's not exactly pinpoint from her vocal cords, but it just encompasses everywhere and shakes you to the core of who you are. And her eyes glow yellow, almost a fire within, angry and fierce, and it sees into your soul. She'll look at you first, Chansey. You, you're not him. Mm -hmm. Oh no! And no, she'll I'm, do. I'm Chancy. A push, almost as if trying to throw you. You will need to make a deck saving throw. Twenty four. You stand still, but that wind blows across your hair, now accumulating a few icicles in them and she pulls Bully up into the air. You, that's not who you really are. And you find that polymorph melting away, Bully, in your Bully's burn. Still doing this with his arms a little bit. Yeah, you, can, you can still do the butterfly <laughs> movement. But you find yourself very exposed. Now, as she holds you, you will also need to make a dex. You're also not Frederick. Fourteen will not save. You find yourself pushed back now, thrown towards the castle ten feet. You're going to take four points of damage. That will be bludgeoning damage as that wind force pushes you. Where is he? And we will have Christina the ghost into initiative. Ooh. 15. A small note, we do not choose the names for some of these automatically listed. 
<laughs> okay. Very well. Round number five. Starting at the top of the round, Chansey, you still with the 18 will begin. Um, I am going to, um, I like make eye contact with Bully and say, are we working together just for a moment? And kind of like give a nod as if like, I promise I'm being truthful. Please like, let's attack this first. Um, Bui and... the Great is also Bui the Bail and just <laughs> honorable. Bill is honorable. Bill is the. The answer is yes. The answer is yes. You had you had to think about that for a minute. Right, so yeah, I, and, um, all those words really is how it didn't come to me. Uh, okay, as I'm just like sure, um, and I will cast um mind sliver on the ghost lady you drive a disorienting spike of psychic energy into the mind of one creature you can see within range the target must success on intelligence saving throw or take 1d6 psychic damage and subtract 1d4 from the next saving throw it makes before they before the end of your next turn okay and the spell damage increases um with each level so Ooh. Okay. It's going to be 3d6. Intelligence saving throw, right? Yes. All right, this is psychic. Uh, psychic damage. Yeah. Or psychic energy. Mm -hmm. Psychic. That is a failure. Six nice. does not cut it. She's racked with mental anguish, just confused, and it hits hard. So I'm like, and I'm just like, Frederick's not here. Check the well where you came from. Like trying to pretend like I'm a ghost. <laughs> what, was the, uh, <laughs> what was the effect of that again? One more time. Uh, it is um, psychic damage and then uh, and subtract 1d4 from the next saving throw it makes before the end of your next turn. Dang. Okay. Go ahead and roll a persuasion as you also encouraged her to go back towards the well. She is a little persuasion. baffled and confused, so you're going to have advantage since your mind sliver was effective. Advantage. This is the second one. 11 for the first roll. 22 for the second. Frederick, you're at the well, and you see her hand over her head just confused as she tries to retrace her way backwards towards this and i try to like throw my voice and i'm like it's me honey <laughs> roll a performance <laughs> that's what that's what, no give me your best frederick impression <laughs> it's me honey i'm at the well <laughs> <laughs> with a 20. Can I assist by making like little, like, like water noises, like, like somebody <laughs> splashing around in there? Y yes. Yes. You know, uh, Bully, go ahead and also roll performance. Let's Sweat see how actually the water, how much you can help out in this space. <laughs> oh, the dirty twenty as well. She races back towards this well, looking in, head in. Frederick, I don't see you. Where are you? <laughs> Good choices. Yes. <laughs> Anything else for your turn? Um, so I get back up because I think I was um, on like the ground from the dog, like on me. Yep. <laughs> um, so I'm now like standing and then um, I pat Bully on the head like 
Mm. You did good. <laughs> mm. Mm. <laughs> I don't want you to ever pat me on the head. The truth is over. But, but this thing is going to kill us if we don't attack it first. Surely you must know that. It has to kill one of us first. And but, it's going but, to be you. Bully! I, I knew you paused when you said you were honorable! <laughs> the lies! The lies said! Alright. Do you attack, Chansey? Uh, or, is it my turn? No, wait, it's Bully's turn, isn't it? My, yes. my mistake. It was the ghost's yeah. turn. Our, our ghost the ghost is though? Well, the ghost is distracted. Yeah. With yeah, she is okay. focused on trying to find Frederick in the well. Since you both rolled with dirty twenties, roll me. She will spend her turn looking in that well, trying to find her lover. Okay. Roll me a perception check, both of you. Okay. Oh, that I do get advantage on for some reason. That's good. Eleven to a sixteen. We'll take that first set. <laughs> As you as you look around, ready to fight again, you see a uh, a ghoul peek out around the corner, just above you. And as he uh, he peeks out, uh, thanks for the help. As Frederick scoots past, you coward. <laughs> I don't understand what's happening. Uh, anyways, um. Bully is confused, uh, but Bully looks like like if you were watching, Bully was was on Chansey's side, but mm-hmm. petting him on the head was just, he couldn't. That just could not stand. So uh, he is so angry. It's like his face is, is he's kind of turning red, which is easy to tell because he's lost so many feathers from the fire by this point, and he's just like turning red and 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 Bully would like to win. Rage! Oh, wage, wage, please. Raging, all right. So uh, he oh, raging. Just, do you want wage? Like, wait, no, money. wait, like, I would like to anger. Anger. You want money. I would like to yeah, anger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would like to anger. Wage is a th- 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 hot, hard word. It's a hard word. Anger away. <laughs> and then I'm going to... Pull out my battle axe and swing it and I'll move over to Chansey and swing the battle axe as hard as I can, just like. I'm also going to use cutting words against this attack roll. Okay. Okay. What does that do again? It, it minuses, so it gives me a Oh, I'm sorry. It it's my great axe. Not my battle axe. Go for it. I pull out the battle axe, I'm like, mm, mm, mm. I drop it, and then I pull out the great axe, I'm like, mm, 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 mm. and then swing that one. Swing away. Oh, did it. There it is. 14. So my cutting words will minus whatever this is. Cool. All right, eight will not hit. You're so doing eight. cute when you're mad. And he's then... a bully, bully's angry, not mad. Oh, that's right. He's he's angry, angry it's, it's when you wage. He's he's, he's, he's angry increase. about the wage, the wage increase. I think. Oh, did you not get enough money? You did one more wage. <laughs> we'll take care of uh, bully either way. Should have a second swing, right? That's what I was gonna say. Is it the frenzy? I never play a. Uh, you so just, you just, you inherently have two attacks. Do oh, I just have two. Okay, yeah. so I yeah. s- swing and then I just c- come with the back swing and try to just, but like kind of with the flat of it. Like I'm gonna play baseball with a great axe. Ooh, with this nice. Flying, flying Good. guy. Hit that bludgeoning side. Flat in. Okay. You will regret what you said to me. Oh. <laughs> 30, 20, does that hit? Oh yeah, that hits. You find purchase. Coming in, slamming in for that side of the ax. Full momentum, your full angwa really coming out. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And then I think I add something for the rage damage. 
Um, does your rage have an extra damage? Yes. <laughs> I just don't know if it did it automatically, so I think I need um, to do it. It does not do. It did not do it automatically. So it's six it's plus, plus some three. more. Plus three. Mm -hmm. All right, so total okay. nine. It was a nice touch of the axe. You rolled low on damage, but you, but you pit. That's the important part. Keep the yeah. anger up, bully. Come on. All right. Anything else for your turn as you hit with that axe? Fight, 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 fight. Uh, How much is it? And then I want to use my Total movement nine. to run towards the ghost. Go okay. for it. You will take an attack of opportunity. Mm -hmm. As you move out of range, but you're it's welcome fine. to do that. Yeah. Go for it. Never stop. And I'm going to be I yelling mean. as I run. Miss! Ma'am! Ma'am, that fairy lied to you! <laughs> Chancy, take your roll to attack first, and then we'll see how this plays Ooh. out. So, opportunity of attack, that's just like with a weapon? or mm -hmm. Unless you have a uh, warcaster. Uh, no, I almost took that, but I took something else instead. Yeah, so you would, um, uh, you would, uh, with a weapon. only happened once, so, you know. Yeah. I, I, would, I would let you do a, a cantrip. A cantrip? Yeah. Um, let's do Mind Sliver on, um, on, uh, Bully. Okay. Well. Go for it. Intelligence yes, so saving throw Bully. Use those 400 brains. Ooh, I have so many brains. Oh, <laughs> with a save! 500 brains! 500 brains! How did you get an 18? That is amazing! No! Bully, the smartest warrior in the world. I was just gonna compliment you and tell you how cute you were, but no, I won't. Don't you even start with me, Mister. <laughs> Listen, I, I thought we were—I thought we were on the same side. You're the one who broke this truce. Ma'am. Yes. Oh, and Christina will whip her head around almost in a fury. Her hair now even higher up. Just this massive Ursula look as it's just magnificent and frightening. And she glows a bright Ugh. blue hue. What is it? That fairy lied to you. Roll he knows Fredwick. <laughs> we saw him. Technically knows them. That's why we're not rolling deception, at least. Okay, let's see. Persuasion. Unless, oh, yeah. I'm unless so your deception's higher and you want to make it. Ah. I'll let you choose. Perse oh, yeah, persuasion or deception. The same. The okay. Same. Fifteen. She'll buy it. She's been a bit confused at this point. Very angry and furious. She now sets her eyes towards you, Chansey. Those golden eyes now burn bright with orange hues. Daggers now clearly directed at you. Anything else for your turn, Bully? Just like, kind of want to turn and be like, you am I? <laughs> That's it. You showed her. You should chance. Those are my taunting, vicious, mockery words. <laughs> he'll he'll regret the day that he <laughs> did that to you. A five? Arbiter. Arbiter. Five? No big deal. No big deal. Listen, all I've right, rolled I've rolled great all night. You are not that great, but it doesn't matter because the Acolytes on their own have decided to demand chaos. So we get chaos. Bully, last time I wasn't able to see you, so you get to roll for a chaotic event of the evening. Oh. Uh, what second what I, one? Roll for that D20. D20? Uh, D20. Mm. A little this, a little that, whatever you'd like. See what we get. A four. What do we have for a four? All right. 
Uh... <laughs> Let me roll something real quick. <laughs> I don't like the sound of that. <laughs> four. For four rounds. <laughs> Poof. All the weapons that you had on you. So Bully, for example, those nice little axes and daggers or whatever you happen to have on you. Chansey, you had a dagger I... and a long sword yeah. on this. <laughs> You notice everything, poof, poof, turns into pillows. It is a pillow fight. So you are going to be manually rolling plus eights from now on if you do any melee attacks. But here's the thing. I'll be honest, Arbiter. I don't want just pillow attacks. We've seen enough of these. Plus, goose feathers are hard to come by. As you feel these pillows now appearing on your back, they're rather heavy, Ooh. filled Ooh. with rocks. <laughs> <laughs> you can throw these pillows 15 feet. If you do, you will do an extra D6 of damage for thrown damage. It will carry that momentum if you do a throwing rock pillow. <laughs> <laughs> On their own, these pillows will do two D10s of damage. Okay. All right. That is our chaotic event. That begins now, us, at the start of the round. Chansey, go big or go home. Number six! Well, um... This is uh, quite the conundrum because um, you see Frederick's actually over there by um, that tree. I, I thought I saw him by the, by the well, but um, it's the tree over there, I promise. I, I, I swear, I'm literally staring right at him. Persuasion. I... <laughs> Are you using those guard like... tools to make it more palatable? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, she will, when she goes out, go to look for Frederick in that direction. Her eyes now the, glance out. I um, give like, like I stare daggers at uh, Bully and then I use greater invisibility to go invisible. Ooh, smart. And then they, now you see me, and then I like snap like really dramatically, and then I say, now you don't. And then I move, um, I do five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. I move to the chest here, if, if I can. If you absolutely allow. can. Are you hopping down? Are you doing athletics to climb down? Um, let's, yeah, let's do athletics. All right. So athletics check here. All right, 16. And yep. I'm like, e even though no one can see it because um, I'm invisible, I'm like Cirque de Soleil-ing, like, like very, it's like a showman's way of like <laughs> getting down the, the mountain <laughs> or the cliffside. So impressive, the show we never saw. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Excellent, excellent. You arrive at the box. Gerald has special eyes. He senses your presence and a claw reaches out holding open waiting for whatever you will offer. I whisper, next time, my friend. It is a free action to interact with the box. I don't want Bully to know I'm in front of the box. It, you, if it, if it you, goes won't, you won't drop it. Since it's not an attack, you won't drop okay. your invisibility. Okay, okay. Um, okay, so then, yeah, I'll interact with the box. And I'm looking through my inventory, and I have, like, just like a ridiculous amount of instruments in my bag. Um, and I'm like, no, I need this one for a performance for the king. No, I need this one um, because, you know, this one uh, entrances dragons naturally, of course. And then, um, and then I'll find- snaps his fingers at you. <laughs> um, I find a liar and I, I hand him a, a liar. <sighs> Is this the one Van Halen played? 
it is totally the one Van Halen played. I he actually it's signed. He gave it to me. Oh, deception. Signed. <laughs> With all the lies you could have made. <laughs> As I'm like holding it, I'm signed. Like, <laughs> I'm using my thumb invisible ink. Scratch in like something, and then I'm like, it's invisible ink. <laughs> Oh, that's 27, you easily deceive him as he 100% believes that Van Halen signed this with invisible ink. Okay, I'll be I'll be right back. Roll a d10. There we go. Uh, okay, roll a d100. <laughs> a one. That's impressive. <laughs> it's, yeah. D one hundred. I don't think I've ever seen a one roll. <laughs> uh, well, um, I am Chancy. Everyone knows about me, and I do impressive things. Very, very impressive. There's a first time for everything. Thank you for this <laughs> new experience. And oh. I bow, <laughs> even though you can't see me because I'm invisible. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> okay, as as the lid comes open again and the flames shoot up. Here, I'm not using these. As as Gerald tosses you a pair of gauntlets gloves, these are the gauntlets of ogre power. These will increase your strength score to 19. Oh my gosh. So your strength score becomes now 19. You can manually change that. Uh, um, how do I do that? I can do it for you. No yes, problem. Please. There we go. Thank you. <laughs> Perfect. Anything else for your turn then? Um, no. I'm just gonna hope that uh, bully. Yeah, doesn't know that I activated the chest or anything, so he doesn't know where I am. <laughs> Fair enough. Christina, the ghost will roll a perception chest, chest, test, check. <laughs> As she tries to find Frederick. Very perceptive chest. Very, very perceptive chest. She looks with her. Eyes. <laughs> okay. Do you have? Oh yeah, I'm supposed. To, I'm supposed to roll that, huh? Yes. Yeah, so I didn't get permission. <laughs> Since you brought her up, I can't control her. It's a nine. With a nine, she wanders over in this direction, but unsure of where to find him. Frederick, fortunately, still gets to hide in the trees from his deathly beloved. <laughs> He's hiding behind the tree. Pe peeking around the end. She will be preoccupied this round. Bully, it is your turn. Hi, okay. and I don't know where Chansey is. You cannot and I see. Know him. He's invisible, so I'm okay. gonna take out the loot mm -hmm. that Chansey wants, <gasps> and I'm gonna walk over to the well, and I'm gonna hold the loot out over the well. Hey, Chansey! You want your loot? You better come and fight me like a man! If you don't want to show yourself the loot, gets it! <laughs> and I'm gonna... I hold my... I guess I moved. I don't know if I can hold my action, but I want to hold an action to, um... Attack to throw my, my rock pillowcase at Chansey the second Chansey appears. Yeah. Yep. Absolutely. You dangle that loot over with one hand, and in the other, you have your pillowcase of rocks prepared and ready, swinging that sucker away as you hum your battle tune and wait. <laughs> Holding that action, that will wrap up a round, and we will start round seven. I don't even know if we have cards this high. We do! Round we number do. seven! Round seven, Jancy! You hear this as it echoes even down amongst the crashing waves. Your loot is about to get it. What do you do? Oh, man. Dun, dun, dun. Um, I'm looking at, like, everything that I can do, but everything is stinking constitution. <laughs> um, there's got to be something that I can do. Better reveal yourself. No. The wind Better blows fight through like the a loot. man. Save um, me. <laughs> um, You're able to get back to here just for the sake of brevity. Okay, yeah, yeah. If you'd like I'm, to. 
pull I... out your flying wings. I would like to fly to the top right here, um, not show myself. Um, okay. But I would like to um, like yell, you better not! I have more fire where that one came from! I swear to goodness, I will! No, I say, I, I swear to the queens! I don't know, a hot tea that I will throw it on you! Um, and then I will cast. Oh, um, my finger is all loosening! I can hardly hold it! <laughs> <laughs> um, I cast Blade Ward on my cell. No, no, Mind Sliver again. Mind Sliver. Casting uh, Mind Sliver. Now, will casting a spell drop your invis? It's greater invisibility. Greater, so okay, no. that's right. Um, I just can't cast anything that's also constitution, which is essentially all of my spells. <laughs> so, oh, um, concentration, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, concentration. Hold that brain like, power. Yeah. Well, you have 500 to... brains, then you could cast all of the spells at once. That's how um, it works. So, yeah, I do mind suffer, so you have to take an, uh, an intelligent saving throw. Um, bully, bullmeister, bull Does that count as charmed or frightened or anything? Uh, it does not. I don't think so. No. Okay, it's just psychic so damage. Intelligence. You said saving throw. Yep, mm -hmm. seventeen. <sighs> it's not good. It's not good. Oh, oh you saved. That intelligence. Bully so smart. Dang. And then, Holy the genius. Um, I was like, well, I didn't expect that to happen. Darn it. And then um, I'll just move like one block over so that they don't know like where I cast the spell from. <laughs> um, I think I still have, because that was 10 feet up. So five, we'll do 10, 15, or no, 10, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Okay, yeah, I'm good where I am. And then I'll end here. Okay. Christina will still be out in the woods. She's just investigating, looking. We do not have to worry about her. Bully, it is your turn. Hey. Well, what do you think? Bully is a man of his word. Does the loop get it? What does the crowd say? And I'm just gonna like start looking around to the audience and the the see if the acolytes want me to drop the loot to its death, to its watery, destructive death. <laughs> you if I may yell, the, um, the call out is to you. What say you? Does the loot get it? But remember, Bully is not an honorable man. He lies I'm, all the time as you witness. I'm not a man at all. I'm a monstrosity. They cheer. <sighs> yes. Kill the loot. Yes. Drown the loot. Drown the and loot. And I, as the crowd cheers, fully drops the loot. Oh, <laughs> you are going to get it. Roll up. And then I don't know if I can do anything else. I can't see him. You can roll investigation just to see if you can tell the general area. And you're allowed to attack with disadvantage against invisible opponents. Okay, <laughs> 17. You can tell at least the general direction is facing at least outward. You you have a general idea that they're outward right. over towards the outside of this castle. Then I will run over there. An attack. I don't know if I know where to. Yeah, you'd be attacking with disadvantage anywhere you yeah. go. So if it... you just want to run I straight I can't out. get to them. Yeah. yeah, so I'm going to run about 30, just 35 straight out. Yeah. And just, I'm just going to swing the pillow of rocks. And you've got and a couple because you had a couple of weapons. So you've got a couple bags oh, of rocks. Oh, gosh. I've got, hold on. I've got. <laughs> you do a two, <laughs> you have two weapon fighting as well. So. I think weapons. Yeah, I think I, weapons are I versatile. Have store weapons on me, so bag of rocks swinging around. So I've got like two bags of rocks. I've got handfuls of pillows of rocks, and I'm just swinging them. And I'm just gonna close my eyes and just pray to the great Albert spirits to guide me true. And Bully <laughs> just lets them go. 
and uh, roll with we'll this. Yeah, roll with roll with disadvantage. Roll with disadvantage. Yeah, well, we'll do this okay. twice at see if it hits anything since it does have a range of fifteen feet. Can I just roll a d twenty? I forget the. It's uh, plus eight. Hello. Yeah, just roll a d twenty. It's fine. I, yeah. At disadvantage. Okay. That's the first one. All right. No. Uh, plus eight. Thirteen won't hit. Nope. But that's my other one. Case. Okay. Yeah. Roll for that again. Swinging around. First one releases. Miss. Second one will hit. A twenty's I'm gonna sorry. hit. Roll the damage. Did it go? Oh, I couldn't see it. All oh yeah, end. it was okay. it was a twelve so, plus eight, so twenty. Nice. Okay. Okay. So the damage is a d six. Two d tens and then plus a d six. Because you threw it, yeah. Yeah, extra throwing damage. And a d six. Oh. First eight points plus an additional two ten points of bludgeoning damage as that rock pillow hits you square no. in the face. Oh. And I was um, frenzied as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did I say that? I think I said that. You did. And so I can make another melee attack as a bonus action. Do it. So Go I'm going to disadvantage. Pull out your third rock bag. I pull out my last rock bag and swing that around. You're going to get it. And I'm going to throw that again. Do it. Do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. 17 is going to hit. Yeah, 17 will hit. Roll that damage dice again. So, so far we've got 10 on the docket. And it's 2d10 plus 6. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We'll just do the d6, but we'll just add it. Oh, sorry. I don't know if oh, I'm doing no, it right. No, that's perfect. That's perfect. You're good. Yeah. Well, bullies having a hard night, okay? So Ooh, how much on that? 16 total. Okay. I After need the 10? Uh, no, six six on top of the With ten. It. Okay, let me do six. You will need to make a constitution uh, save to see if you're able to maintain your invisibility. Yeah. Big brain time. Focus. Big brain, big brain. Easily. Psycho Eighteen. Mm-hmm. All right, still invisible. Bully, anything else for your turn? I don't think so. Oh, I was supposed to go reckless. Oh, well, we'll do that next time if you're still alive. Um, I don't think I can do anything else. Oh, Come nice. and face me and I'll send you to the afterlife so you can see our loot again. All right, we are officially out of cards, but it is round number eight. <laughs> Sorry. You're good. That was fantastic. Here we go, Jancy. <laughs> um... I Invisible am man, what do you do? So upset. I'm just like, that loot was given to me by the queen's sister after a beautiful night that we had together, and that is not a lie. Oh. And then wow. I fireball. Uh, <laughs> because I am very upset. Deck save, bully. Fireball. Okay. 17, One I believe. Second. Yeah. I just realized that I have advantage on deck saving throws against effects that I can see. Would this count? Uh, I think so. Fireball would be visible. It would be visible, yeah. but she's invisible. Yeah, that's why I didn't know. I'm going to say you, 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 so. saved, you saved anyway, so um, you'll take half okay. damage on that fire. So 14. Did I, oh, did I roll? Did you it did. go through? Oh, wait, you didn't roll. No, I guess you do no, have to roll. So. Through, so. Yeah, sorry. Thirteen. Yeah, I don't think I saved. Nope, that'll be 28 no. points of fire damage. Where are you casting okay, this okay. fireball at? Uh, uh, I am casting it at Bully um, in a motion that um, our ghost friend is not hit. She is not my target. Um, do you have careful spell? Um, no, I don't. Okay, um, fair enough. Uh, then. Don't you hate that? Fair enough. Okay, great. <laughs> oh my gosh. So, 
What does that mean? <laughs> that means everyone in a 20 foot radius also has to make that deck save, including you. Um, well, if I like like position it in a point where like only bully is affected, is yeah. that allowed? Yes. yes. So you could cast it like You could cast it back here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just yeah. double checking on that. Alright, fair <laughs> enough. Save yourself at least. Yeah, yeah, save me. Anything Don't else? Don't get me wrong, there's plenty of video games where I will use my rocket launcher when they're five feet in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> Discovered um, this was a poor choice. I will move 5, 10, 15. Wait, let me think. 5, 10, 15, 10, 25. I'm going to move right here. Um, and then I'm like, follow the sound of my voice. Frederick's over here, behind this tree, right here. Um in front of you, but don't follow my voice. It's it's in front of the tree in front of you. If that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> I'm confused. Frederick's uh, in front of you! Bully <laughs> is confused as well. Frederick, stealth is high with that 21. He sneaks into those bushes and is definitely much harder to see our ghost Christina will roll perception. See if she believes you. She can spot him. She'll believe you. 19. She will fall short. So she will look angrily at you. Where is he? And she, if there's nothing else for your turn, let me stop and pause there. Is there anything else for your turn? No, it's too late. Um... I can't use cutting words after I know the result of a die, so um, I can't Ooh. like make cut. I can't make Frederick um, like. I can't affect that role, so. Oh. Sorry. All right. She with the disadvantage is going to try to attack in the area where she heard your voice, upset that she cannot find him, confused and angry where Frederick is. All right. The uh, she will reach out a ghostly hand to touch you. Ooh. 21 will hit. Oh, yep, yep. 16 oh. necrotic damage as her ghostly hand Ooh. grabs you, and as she grabs you, she pulls herself closer to you, passing through and into your body, stopping I'm going to leave it where she's at, but stopping right in your square, right where you're at. And she will deal. Uh, where is it at? Where's the D10? As she kind of passes through your body, she will deal uh, four force damage on top of that. Well, it's like jello. Like your body feels like it's all wiggly and gross, and your bones have turned to jello for a hot minute. Ooh. All right, bully. It is your turn. Yeah, and I do. I is she still invisible? Uh, well, she didn't need to make a uh, con save. Actually, yeah. Let's see if that invisibility holds. So I'm pretty sure I know where she is or where he is. Sixteen twenty. Thirteen will you, save. It will save. Okay. But I'm seeing the ghost attacking something, and I also heard Chansey's sure. voice coming from that exact spot. You True. can so you see more lies. So, so you know okay. the space, but you will roll with disadvantage still. That's to hit. fine. I am gonna get down on all fours. I've lost all my pillow weapons, so I'm gonna get down on all fours and go, <sighs> and then run. And I'm gonna use charger to run straight at him, where I think he is. This is for all of the marbles. And I'm gonna slash with my owlbear claws, where I think that Chansey is, and I am. I am frenzying. I'm doing all the barbarian things. I'm okay. raging. I'm frenzying. Yep. All of it. And I'm do reckless attacking. I reckless think I can yeah. do both. giving yourself advantage. Okay. So that so would be a flat be roll. Flat then. roll. Flat. Okay. Yes. Yes. And nice. My this little. And I would hack. like to use um, Bardic in my um, cutting words to okay. ro like roll the dice right. against this. Yep. Go for it. So it'll for be minus. For the marbles. Ooh, fuck. Bully would want to get Ooh. paid in marbles. <laughs> it's a one. These are all low rolls anyway. It's fine. So does it hit? 
It does. It does not. You rolled a two, and she reduced yes. your two to a one. That's, that's okay. Oh, I rolled a. No, you rolled a seven. Oh wait, sorry. Yeah, it it didn't. Yeah, okay. So you a six. Yeah, doesn't a six, six, doesn't it? You kind of run right past and kind of do a screeching moment, digging into the ground. Should have added the. It didn't have had the to hit. It was um, okay. Seven plus five, minus one. Okay. So seven um, plus four. That's an eleven, and that will not hit. Yeah. yeah. That's okay, just for the next one, because now I'm doing my yes. second attack, and I Do claw it. again. And hopefully, it works this time. D and D beyond. Come on, come on, D and D beyond. <laughs> Twenty four. I did the plus. Okay. Uh, I'm, that's gonna hit. Yep. Twenty four so will hit. You want. Yep. So that yeah. is not very much damage, but then I need to add the. Is nice, stuff. It's plus three more. Okay, so that'll be a total of twelve damage. Twelve slashing. But then I get my frenzy mm-hmm. bonus, bonus attack. Action. Yeah. You will so, never call me cute again. So that's twelve. Twelve for that one. Yes. Okay. And a fourteen will match. So that is going to be a glancing blow. So that will be half damage. But you okay. will hit in your fury and rage. Go attack! Rage. For a total of four points more of damage. <laughs> you also happen to strike at the ghosts since they are in the same square. Oh yeah, they oh. are. So the ghost takes That's all true. the same damage I did. Yep. <laughs> Christina Uh-oh. will also get hit. Whoa. All right. Anything else for your turn, Bully? Uh, I think that's it. Uh, plus, did, the, did I give you the plus three for the last one, too, for the rage? That was the only thing I forgot. Yeah. Oh, yeah, plus the... So, so that's a total of seven, it. then. Yeah. Instead of four. Sorry. So four plus Sorry, three Mac. More. It's really okay. hard to keep track of rage. This is why I never play Barbarians. It's okay. That's one more thing. That's one more thing. <laughs> Barbarians are only for mathematicians. Everybody else get out of here. (laughs) All right. For someone with low intelligence and wisdom, you've been rolling amazingly high every single time. Really low at everything else. That's how I keep my enemies guessing. Nice. Well, we will Mm. enter round nine as everyone is inching towards death. Jancy, tell us, our music man, what will you do? Um, I will, um, oh gosh, um, if I move, do they get an attack of opportunity, but, but I'm invisible, so they don't, or the ghost, the ghost will, the ghost will, um, I will cast cure wounds on myself at sixth level. Okay. Um. So that's 27. Damn. Wow. And then, okay. And then I will um, move. um, And I say, follow my voice. Frederick's over here. 5, 10, 15. And then I whisper over to Frederick and I'm like, listen here, you little shit. Stop moving around because this little (laughs) bitch over here needs to find you, you little fuckhead. Um, oh as you as you do that, I I need you. <laughs> Excuse me while I die. I need you to. Uh, oh no, never mind. It's just a two hit. Ten ten won't hit. You're able to get away. And then I, I move five over so that Frederick doesn't know that I move five over and possibly thinks I'm standing right next to him. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. That is beautiful. <laughs> that is beautiful. Perception check for our ghost, Christina Aguilera. Really? Listen, 
Listen, that was not my own joke. I did steal that one. <laughs> a 15. She now notices Frederick in the woods, thanks to the very dedicated efforts. And she lets out a massive screech, almost like thunderclap. So all who hear it may take damage as she is angry at him for not showing up on the day of their wedding. <sighs> Let me remember how that one rolls out that you will all need to make a save. Is it I like can't... thunderclap or no? Cause thunderclap yes. range is five feet. It's like thunderclap. Okay. It's a con yeah. save. Yeah, so it would be your con save. Got it. It, it has, it can be heard up to a hundred feet away. Gotcha. <laughs> yes. Whoa. So constitution saving throw. I'm looking to see if there's anything that I could have advantage on. Uli with the 18 will save. And then Frederick August. 19 will save. Frederick. This is a 16. 19, you save as well. So you will, everyone here will take half damage as she screeches as loud as she can. is going to do nine points of damage half so that's going to be five points of damage each and she will rush towards and attempt to strangle frederick as they <laughs> have their little couple spat bully it is now your turn how much damage was it if we saved five oh. five okay i'm still standing <laughs> oh, that's not right. That's the wrong button. Sorry, everyone. You're okay. Uh, I don't. I still don't know where uh, Chansey is. Uh, and this is this is getting ridiculous. The arbiter snaps, and you have all of your axes and weapons back. Whoa. Fair enough. Oh, this is best. I came here for blood, not pillows. We ever had all oh, blood. I will give to you. Yes. Okay, and I don't know where anyone is, but I know everyone's in that general vicinity, so I'm just going to run over there and start swinging. Okay. Go for it. Straight. <laughs> I'll stand here so I can hit any one of those three, yeah. and I'll let you guys determine who it hits. Roll a 1d4. Okay. This will be who I'm uh, attacking. <laughs> you are, your swing is who you're going to, you're going to be attacking uh, uh, Chansey. Okay. Fuck. And he's Dis a disadvantage. Still a disadvantage, but Yes. Okay. You are swinging in that spot. How many swings? Oh. Uh, if they oh. hit, then a total of three. A natural one. On that first one, your whatever axe you were just swinging that great axe is going to snap at the hilt. You can still attack Whoa. again, but th Whoa. that axe is done. Okay. I you drop the great axe and I... I Pull out the battle axe. It's a good thing you got so many axes. Yeah, I'll I take do that in a single turn. Yeah, and then I will attack with that with disadvantage and for I'll my second my, attack. Uh, yeah. And my, I'll use my bardic inspiration as well on okay. the attack. All right. So it'll be minus whatever that is. Four minus was that? That's a twenty-six. Uh, no, it's uh, it. It'd be the one before it. The thirteen. Okay, the one before thirteen. Okay. So that, yeah. that second one will not hit. The third one. And oh. then... I guess I could do my bonus action frenzy attack. Yeah, go for it. <laughs> and, I'm, and I'm doing... Uh, I'm going to do reckless. I'm doing reckless again. Okay. And then Crazy. I'm going to use my final bardic inspiration to, as well. Okay. Uh, <laughs> And then this is, it'll be minus whatever this is. 17, 17 coming in. Minus five, that will be a 12. Yes. 12 does not hit. <laughs> why? Bully just gets down on his knees like, why can't I hit anyone? Bully, you have uh, tried hard. The so Grandmaster will give you bless for your next round. You continue to attack each round, and I must reward that. So you will have a plus 1d4. 
for your next attacks around. Next time, okay. If you're alive. If, if you have if a next you, time. If, 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 if I don't think you're gonna live. <laughs> All right, we start our next round. Chansey, not knowing where you are, the Grandmaster's words will echo out. Quit running away and fight. You go and yell at that freaking ghost for hiding. What are you doing? I um, I appear right in front of Bully, and then um, I cast Fireball, but only so Bully gets hit. So he's at the very edge, and I like stand there staring at him, glaring and being like, this is for my loot. <laughs> and then um, I Fireball Bully. <laughs> Make a dexterity okay. saving throw. Okay. Oh my gosh. Can I use the thing on this one to uh, do the yes. the? Okay. Yeah, you can have your one d four on that. <laughs> Seventeen is the same. Oh, the, the advantage from my barbarian feature, okay. the feral instinct. Uh, Not yeah. Feral instinct, if you sorry. if you have advantage it's on the... dex saves normally, then yeah. Yeah. You can, if I see, can it. see it. Yeah. Eighteen for that first. I'm not sure one. it helped me. I don't think it helped me that Second much. Second one with that nat one. Yeah, it helped a bit, huh? You did save. <laughs> Okay. You How did save and you that? avoided a nat one. That would have been double the damage had you had taken that. <laughs> you will take uh, 16 points of fire damage. Wow, oh, that doesn't kill. Okay. Still okay. alive. Okay. Oh my god. Holy um, boy, the invisible. Boy, the fire proof. And then, um, am I able to use my Fey Touch as a bonus action to Missy Step Away? Uh, yeah, I believe you should be able to as a bonus action, right? I, Let me look. Yeah, because it, it it is a bonus. Yeah, you can you can you can bonus uh you can bonus action Missy Step. Okay, I'm gonna Missy Step thirty feet. Uh, five ten. Do you count diagonals as fives or do you count just them as whatever the ruler says is still five? Um. Yeah, so you'd be good. So, so if you went like, yeah, so that'd be 25 still. Okay, I, yeah, I'll go there. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> also, yeah. Oh my god. Okay, hold on. I'm just going to stop. I'll just go. <laughs> okay, so Beautiful. I'm going to miss a step, and then I'm going to use my movement to go another 30. Um, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. <laughs> And I'll say, catch me now, bully! You're <laughs> toast! And you smell like it, too. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, I'll end my turn there. This is really coming down to go. the wire, Grandmaster. Yeah, it's, it's insane. And she looks over, and you see Christina, the ghost, just wrapping her long ghostly fingers around the neck of Frederick strangling him <laughs> out. <laughs> Clearly they're having a small dispute. Let's give them some privacy and they'll fade out into the distance. Bully, it is your turn. We will uh, okay. let them have their moment. <laughs> okay, so I hood him from over there, so I'm going to run 35 feet. You're not invisible anymore, right? No. Yeah, they dropped oh, it, so you know yeah. exactly where. You, you saw I, the reveal. I dropped, yeah, so I can watch you burn. <laughs> and then the epic line of destroying the flute, loot. Loot. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. I mean, mad okay, respect with the, the choice to be like, I'm going to look you in the eyes as I blow you up. Okay. Oh, yeah. So Bully is furious. Just the feathers are missing. Eyes are kind of bugging out. Like, <laughs> like, like, it's not good. It's not pretty. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna use my charger and I'm gonna run and 35 and then I'm gonna use the dash action to sorry from here to run and leap into the air and grab onto Chansey and try to just take us both down the well. Yeah, the athletics. We're all going down. Actually, let's do this oh. as a strength roll off. So I do have charger so I can do it as an attack action too if you want. Okay, all right. yeah. so if it's an attack, yeah. It's a bonus action attack. Uh, yep, so uh, action to dash and then bonus action the melee, to, for the charge. Melee weapon attack. So, and I've only got my claws, so that's what it's going to be. So, All right. You go for that full momentum then, charge away. Plus that D4. Plus the D4. Yeah. 
And then it's also plus, well, that'll be plus damage from it, if it hits. Okay, 16. 16 will hit. Mm, no more bardic okay. inspirations. No, I use it And it, it says I, I can that, choose though. to either do extra damage from charger or push the target 10 feet away. So I want to push 10 feet away, but I'm going to. And we're both going straight into the well. <laughs> I, I don't care. Bully and is just done with this fight. Okay, you both. <laughs> this out there with missing like bird feathers just comes flying at you. This, this no longer cute, hideous, and crazed little animal just rushes towards you and seems to hook the claws into you, Chansey, as both of you begin to trip and fall backwards into the well, plummeting deep down. Here's the thing, when you threw that loot in, you did not hear a sound of splash. The only time we heard splash was when you were mimicking it. And so you fall. As we're plummeting, Bully just screams, do you think you are? And is, is he holding me or are we just like in it free falling together? Uh, You're still held with that, the claws as that, that goes with that push is my understanding. Yes. Yeah. So not a free fall, Cause, especially because it, it's still narrow. There's not a lot of like two people having separate space in there. Yeah, technically, I just pushed you in, but I'm, I am right above you. Yeah. Since we're both small little creatures, can I use my wings to save both of us? You can try. <laughs> I I'll look at Bully and be like, "What are you doing? This is just for fun. I don't understand." And I'll like try to to float us up. Um, make a is make a strength yeah. check as you've got you've got those gauntlets. <laughs> yeah, it's a good thing you got those gauntlets of strength. <laughs> Ogre strength of all things. <laughs> 21 you are able to grab bully bully you need to make a strength save as well okay as you try to hold on let's uh, see how well this grapple is i have advantage on strength saving throws if okay. my rage is still up and yeah. so it is you've been hitting those attacks oh 12 not great 19 will help you hold on. Yes. Right. Just grappling on, holding on to the <laughs> boots of Chansey as you fly back upwards. What is this? Okay. <laughs> Chansey, I, I suppose we're, uh, that was Bully's turn. You are flying up. Um, Any, anything so else I for your turn here? <laughs> you two are the hardest things to kill. <laughs> <laughs> this is amazing. What would you like to do for your turn, Chansey? Um, Trying so he's hard. Still, is he still grappled on me? Yeah, on you, yes. you're grabbing onto each other. Um, Can I, like, set us down on the ground? That yep. would be nice of you if that's what you want to do. That was what you, I want to do, yeah. You could try to do anything else, too, if you'd like. Oh, I, I get your... No, I want to set him down on the ground it's round action. 11 so it is your turn yeah yeah i Do so it. is that an action to set him down on the ground no. or can i still it's just part of your okay. movement i will yeah i'll set him down on the ground i'll look him in the eye and say you can't take me down like you took down my loot um and then i'll do a mind sl sliver at him um well i could fireball <sighs> Flip a coin, whatever you want to do. Okay, okay, I will. How do I how, how do I flip a coin and um, uh, click on the D twenty and then just erase the zero, make it a one D two. That is the easiest way. Why have I never thought of that? Um, I don't understand. Uh, click on the to roll a one D twenty and then just erase oh, the zero out of the chat log. Uh, so slash okay, slash R one D two. I'm doing some. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, I got it. Chat log. I, yeah, I, I don't know. Okay. I'm like just You're clicking good. the D20. So when you press the D20, right okay. above it, it's there's okay. a gray box that will say dash R space D20. 
It's okay. On there? Um, I'm just gonna I'm just no, gonna flip I, it. I just we'll yeah, flip yeah, a coin for you. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Um if it's even is it even or odds or it's is it one and one and two. Okay, a one is um well now I'm flustered. I forgot what I was doing. What was the uh, fireball? Was or choosing between spells. Then... <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Can be right. too. If you want to just try like a punch. <laughs> no, no. Okay. Um, a, a one <laughs> is a mind spike. Two is a fireball. Fireball it is. Your own beak. <gasps> okay, <laughs> so I will fireball at fourth level, um, and then I again where i'm out of range and it's just bully got it and i was like this is for my loot and, was, and then i like stare at him eyes glowing and i'm like you will never take me down ever not even once you cute little ball of fluff as i like <laughs> like fully go all out on my um ocarina <laughs> like, like it's like curiously yeah, playing this point <laughs> yeah like, right. it's, it's just coming out at him. It's a mad riff. Just insane. Can't even keep up. Deck saving <laughs> throw, bully. Okay. With advantage still, for because I can still see it. Yep. I'm guessing. With yep. advantage. 16 on that first save. The second beat, a five. The 16 <laughs> is not enough. You will take all 27 points of damage as you find the last of okay. your feathers burn to a crisp. A small um, little chicken now bird. Except, I'm so sorry. Except. <laughs> so. Don't apologize. Hit us with I, it. If I drop to zero hit points while I'm raging and don't immediately die. I can make a constitution saving throw <laughs> and I'll drop to one point instead. Do oh that constitution saving throw. Again, <laughs> these are the two hardest individuals to murder. I am so oh impressed with this. So Y'all are insane. <laughs> so Bully has like no feathers left. There's a couple sticking out. He's naked. He has no weapons. His eyes are bugging out. And he kind of burns to a crisp, and you can smell cooked chicken. It's delicious smelling. But then he kind of just <laughs> stands back up. All right, you, it's also your turn as you stand back up. No, you're 25 on a constitution is amazing. <laughs> I'm imagining Bully's like twitching a little bit, like <laughs> yeah, this point is just like broken. <laughs> <laughs> and then <laughs> Bully just starts shrieking. You can't understand even the words that are coming out <laughs> of his mouth. And he just starts madly clawing at um, Chansey. Uh, let's see. Let me get my order of operations here. So uh, reckless for advantage. Yep. So first yep. attack. You will have with my claws. I with, guess. The, with reckless, don't you? Do you have advantage? Right. Yep. Advantage. With these suckers. Yeah. And I can do. Well, let me see if it shows more damage. It's. I'm gonna actually, instead of using my claws, like the claws are too, like, just burnt pulp. So I'm actually just gonna start headbutting you with my head and use my Tavern Brawler Strike. Because that actually technically is better. Yep. Go yeah. for it. Do it. The first attack with advantage. Ooh, 23 versus a it. 21. That'll, That'll hit. hit. First one up. Second attack. Okay. Ooh, so nine. the first attack was uh, nine plus three. three. 12 bludgeoning damage on the first. I take 12. Okay. Yep. And then attack second attack two. is the same thing. Oh, 28 Ooh. versus a 27 rolling high. Though, that will hit. Roll for that damage. Okay. Oh, six plus three. Nine points and for that then one. And then the bonus action attack will be next. Will be the last thing I can do. Okay. This Angriest is it. little for all the bubbles. Twenty-seven. To a 14. Okay. 27 will hit though. You were just going in headbutt after headbutt after headbutt, yeah. doing an additional total 10 for that round three attack. 
So yeah, okay. ten. Okay. So ten <laughs> plus the nine before plus the twelve before that. Uh, the yeah. acolytes are use your head. That was not what they intended, so, but that's what you did. So thirty-one total points of damage there. I did Big brain take, damage. I did take some away, but I don't remember if I did thirty-one total. I've been trying to do it as I was doing it, but uh, so much little no, you were at forty-four, I'd... so you should have thirteen. Okay, let me go to thirteen. I was like, I'm at one, two, thirteen. Yeah, I'll just. That's twenty-two minus whatever equals thirteen. Nine. nine. Yeah, I got you. Okay, there we go. Okay. <laughs> we are down to the wire. What are we on? Round twelve. <laughs> it is round twelve, and it is now Chancey's turn again. Um. Attacking so... with advantage, technically, because you reckless attacked. That's true. Um. If, wait, if I, I'm attacking with advantage. Well, yeah, you yeah, would have yeah, advantage. You do melee. If yeah. you melee. Unarmed. I've never unarmed strike before. Is mm -hmm. that just like it auto hits no matter what, or do I have to roll? To you would have to. Class? You would have to roll for it. It's a mm -hmm. on your. You will have advantage with that unarmed attack. Unarmed strike is a plus eight for you, because you have yeah. the gauntlets. You can you can punch. You can. <laughs> it's a it's an automatic hand. five points of damage if you hit. Yes. Yeah, that's the thing. I just, I just want to do something that just hits, like something that just. <laughs> that's a I think I plan. I think Cloud of Daggers just hits, so I'm gonna Cloud of Daggers. Um, change it does. Fully, and be like, I, I, at this point, I'm like ripping my petticoat because I'm so mad about my loot, and I'm like, no one destroys my loot, and nobody gets rid of my, and, and nobody doesn't die to my fireballs. I'm like, um, like. Uh, think of like Yu-Gi-Oh, like yeah, as I'm like loading in, um, like beautiful reference, my cloud of daggers, um, on bully. <laughs> Perfect. In this square space, manifest hundreds of daggers now pointed and bully everywhere you move. You are stabbed. Mm hmm. For nine <laughs> points of damage. Okay. So I'm back down to to zero. But if I make this, if I make this, if I make this, I'm back up with one again. That's so unkillable. This, this time is a fifteen DC. Okay, DC fifteen. Fifteen. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> what? So it's just stabbed and it's just like bloody and deranged and just kind of stands back no up. No way. There's like one dagger just poking into your twitching eyeball. <laughs> yeah. It was very grotesque for all the rest of us watching this. <laughs> and I'm just gonna scream, Bully the burned! Bully the deathless! And I'm gonna claw. Well, I can't really claw wait, anymore. Wait, I have like stumps. I'm, so I'm just gonna start swinging my body into him. Wait, um, is that um, end my turn or can I um, like oh, yeah, sorry. Just in succession with your turn? If you have um, a, I'm if back you have up. yeah, I'm back up. So can I then do my Fey touch Missy step um, to move away from yeah. him? If you, yeah, will take an attack of opportunity with the Missy step. Oh no, not with Missy stuff. No. Sorry. Um, so I will do that, um, the Missy step. And then I'm going to, so hold on. Five, 10, 15, or no, five, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So I'm going to move here. And then um, I'm going to also fly 30 feet in the air so he can't reach me. With no more so, freaking charge attacks, I swear to fucking God. <laughs> As you move to a very safe distance away, Bully, it is your turn and you find uh, yourself in a cloud of daggers poking and stabbing you. You are in immense pain, bleeding profusely, but somehow still breathing. What the heck? <laughs> do they um, damage me at the beginning of my turn or the end of my turn? It does say a creature takes 44 slashing damage when it enters the spell's area for the first time on a turn. 
or when it starts its turn there. So okay, so I would do the damage starting. again. Yeah. Yep. Four d four damage. Okay. So this might be at the end. Is automatically enough. So you will have to roll nine yeah. slashing. Okay, so, I'm, so I fall down dead again, <laughs> and then I have to how make a twenty. How do you have this? It, it just gets harder rises, each time. Yeah. Okay, oh, that's okay. it. Fully kind of like starts to rise again. It goes, fully the. And falls down dead, finally. <laughs> Enough! And the Grandmaster will immediately cease this fight. The cloud of daggers will disappear, and poor Stad Bully now lies on the ground. Arbiter, take care of Bully immediately. The Arbiter, Please. Arbiter will remove our stabbed owlets, owl bear, from this courtyard. The Arbiter <laughs> will fly down and, uh, He'll pick Bully up by the leg, and uh, I, don't, uh, I don't really feel like walking all that way. He'll just toss him into the well. And we will never hear Bully hit the ground in there. The Grandmaster will hold her arm out to Chansey. Your loot may not be found. But I can at least offer you a chance to give a final bow to your wonderful audience. Would you care to accept? Yes, my my audience? <laughs> you said my audience? As I'm just like in awe of all the people like surrounding me. <laughs> <laughs> and she'll help you unroll I, I, and pick up your petticoat and offer it to you and unroll the sleeves which you had once pushed up. For and your I, final I, bow. I, I put on the petticoat and I, I just like feel so regal and I bow and then as I'm bowing, I like take out my ocarina that's in my pocket and no one can see it. I'm just like, <laughs> and I, um, I play a little tune and then start doing a jig. <laughs> yes. Yes, play us out, and the Grandmaster will look up to the Acolytes. This was a show for the evening. Remember, Acolytes, and all you do, never get up. Stand back each time and give them hell every single moment that you breathe. And with that, welcome and good night to D20 Deathmatch! Death I get into it.